Let me just make sure it functions. All right. All right. It says it's starting. All right. Cool. It says live. It, are we live? It says we're live. Yeah. Let me see how it is. Refreshing. It says you're live. Yeah. And podcasts. Oh my. God. Trump, <coughs> our great Trump Tower, <laughs> very subdued. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, let me slash clear. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> All right, are we are we getting in here to start? Yes, the stream is indeed on. This is something. Okay, hold on. Let me let me mess. Oh fuck! Eric's banned from the stream. How? <laughs> he um, remember last time he was spamming shit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> bro, all right. Bro, this is a bra moment. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> How to unban someone from YouTube live stream? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I wrote Yo, I have, a, I have a great idea. Look at this. Oh my god. Um, I'm looking here. Actually, hold on. I'm on my other screen. Tell me when to look, look. Oh, okay. Oh, why are you in a boat? <laughs> you are boats. Oh god, no, no, no. The boats are pushing the minecarts out of place. Nico, no. Nico, no. <laughs> boats. All right, all right. Get, all right. get, get, the, bo get, get the, the boats. Get the boats. Get the boats. Get the boats out of here. Just sit in your chair, Nico. Jesus. <laughs> get you the got boat. it. Sit in your damn chair, boy. All right, I'm, I'm gonna clear the boats. Actually, oh, God. I, oh, fuck, I can't reach the boat. Eh. Okay, just sit, sit in chair. Oh, sit in red chair. Did you push it too far out of place? Oh shit! Just he's going from the front. Going from the front. Right, While you can still can't. I can fix it. Just, just go in. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, that's good. No, no, no. Go, on, go on to your side. Go on to your side. Yeah. Actually, hold on, hold on. No, you go on the left side. I'll go on the right. This is big brain ideas. Hold on. All right, we got our beautiful Trump logo. Hold on, Jonathan, shut your mouth for a second. We're setting up something so we have background footage, idiot. How the fuck do I unlock Eric from the stream? <laughs> this is uh, something. Uh, All right. <laughs> and the stream's not even freaking lagging at two frames per second. This is beautiful. It thought, wait, can you circle around so I want to see if it isn't? Okay, it's not lagging around. Oh, it's, it's lagging at three frames per second. Much better. All right, you can you can fly around for now. I need to figure out how to unban him. Oh wait, no, you're the you're you're the person with the stream. That's why I can't unban him. Ah uh, no no no. <laughs> how, how do you get banned from the stream? I don't understand. I think you can still view it, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. This is, discuss methadone says nostalgic. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> methadone. Uh, methadone Jeez. is a tremendous, unbelievable you... substance <laughs> that is definitely not a drug. And will yes. definitely not I get mean, a Technically, thing. everything is a drug. Okay, so, uh, can you go to uh, settings, the chat settings, the chat settings, chat settings, bro? Chat settings, you say? It's, it's, it's the setting icon next to the large chat thing. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, settings icon. Hold on. Sorry. I can't. I can't see. It's a thirty second delay. Can you just share your screen? <laughs> There's a thirty second delay. Nico, just share your screen for me. All right. Um. Wait. Hold on. I don't. Uh. We don't talk about that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about that. Did you start sharing? I have not started screen sharing just yet, but. Okay. Now I am. This will definitely not be. <laughs> big brain, I... screen shares forever. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's gonna crash the stream, Nico, please. Yes. <laughs> okay. I can tell. So go, to, go to your chat setting. Jesus Christ. All right, so we go to the uh, settings. The settings. 
uh, slow book community setting. Uh, can you, yeah, middle click that, middle click it, yeah, or just middle click it to open it in a new tab? We don't do that. We light click. Uh, <laughs> this is there should no be a block key. It says there no. aren't any users. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, just close that. So it's just delusional. All right, you can stop sharing the screen. <laughs> go back to the Minecraft, and we can we can do the introduction. All right. After a couple minutes of nonsense. Right, don't forget to stop sharing your screen. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. I wonder if that's affecting the bit rate at all. <laughs> no, obviously not. This is oh, obviously not. Oh my god, okay. Okay then, so. Alright, Welcome okay, okay, hold on. To... Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna close the, the thing though, so it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, F5 it, you know, we're here. Okay, okay. now you can go. I recommend you F1 as well. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the A&D podcast featuring yes. our Trump mobile with a built-in Trump tower that oh has the Trump name written in cold ore. Jesus. Hold on, you do the intro, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so the issues we're going to talk about today is, is is an issue particularly pertaining to the great, unbelievable, and tremendous Donald J. Trump, of 45th president of the United States of Tremendous. Okay? As well as, if we get done with that issue, then we'll go transition to health care. Because, you know, Trump care was not able to be passed because of the terrible, terrible decision by John McCain. We, I like people who weren't captured, okay? Believe me. So, yeah. Once he gets back, we will talk about a tremendous issue plaguing this country. Impeachment. Thank you. Hello, did you do the intro? Yes, I did a tremendous intro, believe me. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll take your word for it. So, <laughs> should, should we just hold on? Let me do some commands slash game rule. Whoa! It just turned to daytime. Wow. Yeah. Oh look! I see a burning skeleton jumping on the trees. Oh my god! False. Okay, I think that should be all. Okay. Did you actually do an intro or? No? Yes, I actually did an intro. Alright, okay, I think we can get out of these and get out of F five if you want. Alright, so let's just let's just go off, I guess. Alright, so uh what is your impe impeachment opinion, Senor? Um, I'm assuming on Trump, yeah. Uh I mean I don't I don't what do you, what, like what do I think about it? Yes. I mean obviously I don't think he should be impeached, but that's just because I mean, if he's impeached, our next option is Pence, and I think we can both agree that Trump is better than Pence. That is 100% right? accurate. Yeah, so if the choice is between Trump and Pence, I'd rather have Trump. Honestly, yeah. Okay. I can agree with that. Second of all, I, I severely doubt that even if the inquiry for the impeachment goes through, even Which if it makes will. it... Okay, say it does. In the end, the majority of the people are going to... I think, is it... Who votes on it? Is it Senate of the or? Senate. In order yeah, to remove and the president. isn't the majority of the Senate Republican? Yes, you would need sixty-seven so, votes, and there are forty-seven so, Democrats. <laughs> yes, so you see the problem, right? Yeah, you need twenty Republicans, and that's assuming that's assuming all the Democrats will vote no. Yeah, except I, we all know Joe Manchin's not going to vote for it because West Virginia yeah. or something. No, yeah. like, Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin. Joe Mom, I'm sorry. Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Mama. Yo, it's, okay. Joe, it's, uh, it's Joe Mama. All right. Who is Joe? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> oh, it's Joe Mama. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's let's get let's get serious. All right. So, what about what about what's your opinion? Because I just gave like my real talk. Is the worst idea. I feel like the Democrats have done this entire time with Trump's in office. Like I think like, you just think in general or specific to Trump. Um, in general. The Democrats have been terrible for a long time, right? But, like... <laughs> Sorry, this is just... But, like, yeah, this well. is, like, next-level awful politics. Like, oh, my goodness. The oh best-case scenario is they don't lose. And by don't lose, I mean they don't lose politically. Not they, They're gonna lose um, the, the impeachment battle, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, of course, of course. The worst Big case facts. scenario is Trump gets a fifty five percent approval rating after he's acquitted by the Senate and then they lose the re <laughs> and then they lose the twenty twenty election. <laughs> so yeah, the Democrats are just the worst at politics, like ever. They're just terrible. Yeah. I think I think it's just it's not because that the, the ideas they have are bad. It's just because the selection we have is bad, right? Yeah. Because not a lot of Democrats like are running. We have what do we have? Yang. We have Buttigieg. Those are the only we two have, that like, I think we have. Reasonable. Yang, Buttigieg, Sanders, Biden, whose uh-huh. brain is melting. Elizabeth oh Warren, God. who can't, who was. I'm sorry, Hillary. and Sanders' brain is melting. No, Sanders' brain is not melting. His, 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 you can argue his heart's melting, but... Mm. Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fit for presidency, 100%. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's feeling better than he has been the entire campaign, and he's been doing, like, four rallies a day for trying to fix his country. <laughs> Jesus. Are you, are you going around in creative mode looking for food? Yes, obviously. <laughs> you are the most intelligent being I've ever <laughs> had the privilege to witness. It was big brain. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. Like, I'm getting spam messages and calls from them saying to turn on our webcam. No, we're not going to turn on the web. With the webcam, do you just want to see? They want to look at her in a t shirt or something? Like, I yeah, mean, that's what they want to see. Because that's they, they recently joined the wrestling team. They're making to gain us. They need some something to get to, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh I've been God. going to the gym recently, but you don't need to know. Ooh. <laughs> Jerry, you got a competitor. Okay, okay. We didn't come here to talk about how gay they are. Yeah, you're no. right about that one, but... Okay, I mean, so... I, I, I assume our, our disco... Yeah, I'm sorry, I, go, ahead, go ahead. I gotta put on the diamond armor. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Saddle <laughs> me. Combat ready. Combat hold ready. On, creative on. book. <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, all right. So okay, so so Trump was our first topic, right? I feel like Impeachment. we didn't. Like... Impeachment is just going to fail, mm-hmm. obviously, because it's so, on such a freaking stupid issue too. They're impeaching mm-hmm. him because he went after Joe Biden's corruption. Oh my god! Hey, we're impeaching you because you were investigating corruption. Get out of our office. <laughs> Yo, you're investigating corruption. We didn't like the way you did it, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, get it, get it. uh we're gonna remove you. It's like you guys are retards. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I mean, then yeah, again, yeah. right? It's it's the liberal. When were they not? Re- Actually, that's, I shouldn't say that. There are some times when they're not retards, but like, come on. They're 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 kind. They're neoliberal, which basically means conservative. Oh my god. <laughs> No, no, no. Don't you dare group conservatives with neoliberals. I'm, I'm kidding. Neoliberals, otherwise known as... Yo, we're gonna just gonna be Republicans. <laughs> That's just it. They're all We'll be Republicans. halfway between Republicans and our previous position. <laughs> and we're gonna do that for 20 fucking years. And you're gonna we like... are Republicans. <laughs> it sounds like too accurate. You gotta chill there a bit. Yeah. It's freaking dumb. <laughs> like seriously, oh what God. the heck? I think you know what? It it's, might sound crazy, but it's possible that the people running this country are monkeys. That's don't know what they're doing either. I can agree right? with that on many levels. All right. Too hopefully, many levels. blowing up TNT won't destroy this. Uh, won't destroy the, my FPS that much. Oh my God! Just do it far away from that. All right, so I'm gonna do it right <laughs> over here. Yeah. Oh wait, I have All a right. perfect idea. Fuck, let me have this. Um. All right. Okay. 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 Let's let's get let's get instead of Minecraft and roasting libtards. Let's get it. Well, I mean, we're still gonna have the Minecraft stuff, but let's. So, are we still on the Trump and Pete? Because it seems we're in agreement here. Like, there's. We both have the same or similar opinion. The impeachment, all right? Nico? Nico? Are you talking? Hello? Here you go.
Hello, I cannot hear you. Oh, okay. okay. No problem, no problem. No problem. Uh, while we wait for Nico to come back, we have. I, I don't know, I did not expect us to be in agreement on impeachment, so we're gonna have to move on to the next topic. Once he comes back, should be some time between now and forever. <clears throat> Nico, you, you're coming back? I mean, we are kind of supposed to be speaking. Come on. This is, uh, this is how it feels talking to a wall, ladies and gentlemen. Or just gentlemen, I'm assuming, just watching this. Alright, I'm back. Here you are! Jesus! You were gone for a while. Yeah. Anyway. I was here so, sitting in silence. Anyway, Try. what were we talking I about again? I see you've made an... I mean, I said since we've agreed on the impeachment, I yeah. think, or we have similar... Let's just move on to something else then. Alright, first things first, I gotta blow up this Trump. Made with tea. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Alright, let's do it. Alright, alright, so what do we, we want to move on? Healthcare. Oh god, I see it. I see it in the corner. Healthcare. No, no, I mean, I see the explosion in the corner of my eye. Hold on, I have to look at this mess that you just created. Healthcare, alright. So, uh, Yo, let's that, just start off by saying... That explosion is a tremendous... Um, it's basically it's our healthcare system, honestly. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Our healthcare system so is I think a gigantic explosion, explosion of pure... Terribleness, like autism. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the one thing we've agreed on in the past is that we have a bad healthcare system. Yes. But what we haven't agreed on is, I believe, how we should fix it, right? Yeah, our healthcare system is quite obviously broken because it's uh, big facts. Terrible. Big big facts. It is terrible, in the way that uh, it's overpriced, right? Yeah. And uh, it's not. I mean, I wouldn't say not effective. I would say more. It's... It's, in fact, no, it's, it is a price, but it is an effective thing, because American healthcare is better than, you know, some free commie healthcare, right? I mean... Uh, not the, always, the right? The United not Kingdom always. has better healthcare outcomes than uh, the United States, but let's not talk about By that. outcomes, you mean... Because people aren't afraid to go to the doctor in the United Kingdom because of, you know, the lack Money, of Money, yeah, that makes sense. That's fair, that's fair, I guess. I guess that's a point you can make. If people in the UK go to their doctor, they need to go to the doctors. This is insane. Yeah. They actually get the <laughs> they actually get health checkups because they don't have to uh spend yeah. a thousand dollars for it. Well not when somebody dollars. says see your general practitioner, they don't have a panic attack. Yeah, they don't be like five hundred dollars down the drain, no I can't oh afford my God, it. The team. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just blowing up TNT. This is. Yo, no, I'm, I'm gonna. Just I'm like gonna... the US military, I'm dropping bombs. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, let's not do that anymore. <laughs> Gee, I turned off tile drop so we won't like the thing. With... Yo, look at this tremendous TNT. Oh my god. It's carpet bomb. Yeah, it's just like Dom. 
No, I don't think that's what they did. Nom just was a bunch of TNT. <laughs> yeah, and a bunch of sad Vietnamese dead people. Dun, 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 dun. Our foreign dun, dun, dun. policy is fucking awful. <laughs> Wait, the Vietnamese are. <laughs> Hold on. Our I mean, the Vietnamese is so bad. Awful as well. God damn. I mean, what foreign policy are you upset with? Like, I mean, the situation with the Vietnamese? The the Vietnam War was a mistake. The Iraq War was a mistake. The War on okay. Terror in general, I'll, the way but, that it was okay, done hold on, was a mistake. The War on Terror, the way it was done was a mistake. But the war itself was not a mistake, right? Because, I, I mean... I you, think the intervention in Afghanistan was not terrible. Because mm -hmm. we did it, end it, up it, achieving our goal of getting bin Laden. Except we're still there. So... Mm -hmm. And yeah. also, it's 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 the way they handled all of the proxies on the Cold War. Because it all stems from the Cold War, right? Every yeah. every major problem has that stems from the Cold Actually, War. Actually, the major problems in the Middle East stem from colonialism and World mm -hmm. War One. Well, no, that's that's you're thinking of uh, you're thinking of uh, the end of World War Two, right? The promises of British made, I'm assuming. Um, no, it's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to World War One, when. Oh, sorry, that is World War One. Yeah, the end of yeah, promises the, the British the, made. The conflicting promises the British made, and then they ended up honoring the ones that they that would benefit them the most. Mm -hmm. which so uh, I think you're talking about the, the Israel-Palestine thing? The, not just Israel-Palestine, but just, like, the lack of care for my, the other groups in the region. Like, Iraq mm -hmm. has Shias, Sunnis, Kurds, and, like, it's not how a functioning government works. Yeah, yeah. And like, I think the lines were drawn haphazardly, and yeah. now nobody can change it. Because, I mean, as soon as oil came into play, it became a bigger problem, right? I wouldn't, um, well, yeah, because the region now had a reason to be paid attention to. Yeah, like, and also because, who the fuck pays attention you know, to Jamaica? I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. good point, yeah, good point. No, but I think yeah, one of the reasons that... Oh, sorry, Ed, you can go. Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't put that. What were you saying? I wasn't. I forgot actually. <laughs> anyway. Okay. This is epic. All right, all right. I think the main reason is that like the concern of the governments is like you know don't go bankrupt. Like you know have money to spend on whatever you want, and the way you do that is not by making your people happy with the with the ethnic borders. It's by having the resources in your borders, right? Yeah. So I'm sure no, if it Jonathan, was really, I'm not gonna add you to the podcast. Jesus Christ, Can, you should probably try, I, I muted my phone, <laughs> they were spamming me with calls and shit. Stop. <laughs> Stop that. I will turn off my Instagram notifications if you should. Oh no, not your Instagram notifications. I have the Instagram app on my PC and Jonathan's fucking texting me <laughs> on Instagram Jesus. to add it to the podcast. <laughs> no, God, we are not Jonathan. going to add you to the podcast right now, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, maybe next time, whatever. Next time. <laughs> Whenever. <laughs> oh, God. Said it was going to be weekly. Three months later. Yeah. We're back. Oh, my God. At least check the chat. Ha All right. Let's look. Let's see what the chat is talking, There's telling no, me. It, the yeah. chat is just him spamming, can I be a guest? And webcams, webcams, webcams. And also, David's calling you a lazy. All right. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Webcams. <laughs> Definitely. Discuss methadone. <laughs> Imagine leaving. Fifty million. No. Add me. How is that, by the way? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How do you disobey to do <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I call them gentlemen. Jerry is, of course, referring to the fact that he is a through and through a Polish woman. Yeah, you're right. He's a Polish woman. Excited from when oh he feels God. like he wants to be a man. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, he's just a Polish woman in general. That's what they yeah, do. Yeah, he's he's just a Polish woman. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Casual <laughs> racism, am I right? Right? Am I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How to like, get removed from YouTube fast? Yeah. <laughs> Casual racism. Okay, okay. What were we on? Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, healthcare, we... right? You see, I yeah, and then we diverted to the middle. A <laughs> universal government healthcare system, because okay. here's why. See, I no hold on. Before you do that, can you define what you mean by government here? Because I had this discussion with Jonathan and David earlier, and apparently all three of us had different ideas of what that meant. So I want to hear what you right. think that means. So here's what that means. All right, here's what here's what that means. You know, 
how your parents have a health insurance card that has says at our Blue Cross Blue Shield on it, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. Take that card, put Medicare on it, and everything's free at the point of service. There you go. What do you mean free at the point of service? What? Meaning it is paid for by taxes, which means it is free at the point of service, but is paid for through taxes. Okay, but wouldn't that cost people more in the long run and the government? No, it wouldn't because the private health. I'm sorry, not the government, just people. Just people, sorry. No, it would actually save people thousands of dollars a year. Oh, no, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Compared to private. Yeah, okay, so I'll get to my ideals in a moment. Compared to private insurance, the government taking over is a huge step in any form. The thing that Jonathan was talking about the other time was what you're saying. That's what I think universal health care means. Yeah, that's what Medicare and for all. I was, I was thinking, um, like. See, my idea was um, instead of having the I hate when I hate when other people say um in between their sentences, but then I do it myself. Okay, so my idea was that healthcare itself, uh, fuck. Okay, healthcare itself should be a not a universal thing where everybody has access to it, but rather a sort of where the government knocks out the private industry, removes the private industry. So there should no longer, what I think is it's like completely ridiculous to have a private industry controlling, uh, you know, healthcare because that's private shouldn't decide, you know, how much people can pay to have their lives saved, right? If, if you can, if you're dying, you shouldn't have to choose between going bankrupt and living wow, or dying. Wow, that's only the point I've been making for the last two years. But, but I also don't think it's fair for somebody who doesn't use, so for example, if I, if I, did, if I say, in my however many years of life, say after I'm adult, the first six years of my life, I've needed these services, say like average checkup or whatever, blah, blah. I've needed them only once, twice, three times a year, right? I yeah. shouldn't have to pay for six years of taxes. I should have to pay for whenever I need them. But the thing with private industry is if you do that, you're going to get the bullshit prices. And if you have insurance, it's just like paying taxes, but more, right? And plus, you still have yeah. to pay on top of it. So what I was saying, which I personally think is a good idea, is that instead of having private, you, the government knocks out the private industry completely, period, if it's gone. Yeah. And on the plus side, it can take all those people that just kicked out of private industry and bring them into the new thing, which is the government takes care of all the health care, but it's not taxed. Since it's directly to the government, yeah. Their main idea isn't profit. Their main idea is, you know, the they should be. Service. Yes. I know that crazy idea. So, the government can manipulate hospitals, you know, tax cuts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and it can offer lower prices. So what that means is, instead of having to pay more taxes for the rest of your life, and ha not having to pay when you go for a checkup, you would not have to pay extra taxes and have to pay for whenever you need it, but it would be at a significantly reduced price. Because you're not paying for any, you know, 3,000 middlemen, right? Yeah. Because so, the government, you don't have to pay for government's taxes because the government is the government, right? You don't pay extra tax. You don't pay extra for handling. You pay for what you need to pay. The government takes a little bit off the top to pay for itself. Yeah. And, you know, 326 million Americans later, it's cut out a major cost-cutting thing. It's cut out a major thing. It's got the problematic industry out of the way. It solves a bunch of the problems without having to make major adjustments. Also, why are these stairs in diorite, man? Um, I don't know. I just felt like putting making out of diorite. Diorite doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Alright. But um So yeah, what do you what do you think of that idea, having the government and knock out the private? Like I of course agree with the government removing private insurance because private insurance is the dumbest idea ever. Uh -huh, health, but especially in I... health especially in health insurance. Especially in health insurance. Yes, I agree with you there, 110%, because, but I, I sense there's a button there somewhere, but you finish, yeah? Um, like, private health insurance is just, basically, it's basically private taxes. That's just all it is. And since <laughs> it's an private taxes, place, but... it will automatically be more than a government tax, because yeah, they're yeah. looking for a profit. Yeah, the thing of course, is, and the government's looking for a profit off of their profit. Yeah. The the thing is, Medicare for all would cost significantly less over a ten-year period than our current healthcare system. Yeah, and I agree with you. Sure. Our current healthcare system is. And I'm not sure why. 
um, what the purpose of... I'm not sure what you mean by people have to... So you're saying people have to pay for their health um, health care, but it's at a significantly yeah, no, lower price. Through the I don't, market. I don't, I don't think there should be health insurance like at all. What? Why would you even have that? Like, you don't need health insurance. You need a you, health insurance is for people to pay in case of emergencies, right? But the thing is, if you cut out the middleman, you don't have to pay as much, and you won't have to pay any extra taxes. So whenever you need the services, you pay for them, but they're not ridiculous prices because you know straight from the government. Yeah, that's. I think that's more like an NHS system because the NHS. Right, is you don't mean you don't mean National Honor Society. society right? <laughs> yeah. What is the NHS? Can you? Uh... The NHS is pretty pretty much the British healthcare service. British okay. healthcare. Like, no, but it's the British healthcare the. Run. Yeah. Like, from no, the top but, but down, the... it's all government. It's all the government. Yeah. But here's the main distinction, right? Which I don't know why Jonathan couldn't wrap his tiny brain around is that. Mountain like mountain. the difference is that <laughs> is that the NHS, uh, which I'm assuming you say, I don't know what it stands for, my it, but, means, um, it means the National Health Ser Service. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, in the NHS you pay the taxes, right? But you don't have to pay for extra health care. Yeah. Yeah, but here you don't pay extra taxes. You just pay less for the health care. So it's like a sort of reverse system. And the reason I think that's better is because of the fact that. You don't always need health care, but it's always better to save on tax. So even if you're paying the same thing in the long run, it's much better in case you don't need it. Right? I mean, I get what you're saying, but, like, would there, would there be any specific, like... What? Like, what if somebody, like, is... Well, in a, in a theoretical perfect uh, society, of course. Oh, Paul, people don't would, get me started would always be able to afford teams. what you're saying, but... Would, well, I mean, like, it wouldn't It wouldn't be like, you know, how IV bags are like... Uh, and how cough drops are like five bucks in a pop, you know, like, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, obviously. But I'm not sure how people who wouldn't be able to pay for health insurance because... Let's say they're living paycheck to paycheck, or they're living on a minimum well, wage I mean, job. Well, I mean, that's a sure. fair no. thing, but you have to also remember that if they can't pay for the reduced prices, like the significant, like these aren't just like five, ten significant, like multiple, like eighty percent, seventy percent, possibly even more, likely less for some. But I mean, um, keep in mind, these are arbitrary industry. numbers, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So keep even. in mind, the pharmaceutical industry is still an industry. And we're it is, and we're not going to be able to remove the like actual drug companies. We're just remove mm -hmm. the health. We'll only be able to remove the health insurance but because the health insurance the, is the major problem. The that's government true, has that's to true, negotiate but, for drug prices, but they don't get them for free. Like, yes, that's absolutely. I agree with you. But the problem we have right now isn't with pharmaceutical. Well, I mean, we do have a problem, but it's not as major as the uh, health care because. Hospitals uh, charging outrageous prices is a bigger problem than, you know, the medicine, at least for now. Maybe in the future when we have the no. normal hospital prices. I disagree. Then we can. Uh, You're saying it's a major problem? Yeah. The, like, the, like, the over cost, the overprice of drug, the drugs being overpriced is a major issue. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, okay, the government uh, is the government, and that being, it can offer, you know, it, I guess it can offer tax cuts. It can offer, you know, certain freedoms to accommodate. The government can do whatever the, the government really wants, as long yeah. as it follows the constitution and it's not really radical. Um, you know? In in other countries, governments yes. pretty much negotiate directly for drug prices, and we don't okay. do that in this country. If we, that's true, but we also have care, and that's why our prescription drug prices are so high. The benefit that's true, of having the, a single payer health insurance system. Is that you have a single market that gives you even greater negotiating power? Yeah, but that allows you to in both of in both of our in the systems we're proposing, there's they're both single payer except that's the government, right? Yeah, the single payer. No, 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 no my bad, my bad. Person. Not single payer, but single middleman. Yeah. Because the people in in my in both of our ideas actually. The government doesn't pay for it. The government processes the money through taxes or through direct 
funding. Yeah. The government doesn't pay for it. But I mean, yeah, that's just kind but, of but it's the it's the function. Yeah. yeah. So in in both of our things, the government would have to negotiate for it because they're the ones who run it. Yeah. So it's not a question of if; it's a question of how far would they go. Yeah, it depends on how the funding is, how they get the funding for the program in general. That has to come through <laughs> taxes in some way. Well, yes, that's true. Well, no, uh, that's again not super. Well, no, I guess, but it doesn't have to come from extra taxes. I mean, you could argue they could redirect that, back to some. Um, you yeah, could, you um, could argue that you don't have to get extra taxes for Medicare for all. If you argue that the premiums are private taxes, I, you could say no, no, but then, but then that just becomes a thing of like terminology and what. I mean, because yeah, if you're gonna go for like the premiums being taxes, you might as well just, uh, you know. Can you just sent me another me message. I'm intellectual. Please add me <laughs> to the conversation. <laughs> All right, then. maybe, I'll, maybe next week, TM. Yeah, yeah, it's a soon TM. <laughs> next week, oh my gosh. Next, <laughs> next week, a hundred percent, we will be streaming. Uh, rated R TM, uh, trademark. What else? Is, oh, TM means trademark. Reserved. <laughs> Quote. Copyright. Yeah. 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 yeah of 100%. course. Of course. Hundred and ten percent. Yeah. Well, one quad. Guaranteed, or you're no money back. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Listen, if you if we don't stream next week, if we don't stream <laughs> next week, we support private health insurance. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's not get hasty here. <laughs> Why are you placing grass blocks? Look at this. I I tried to make it more natural, but I can't. I, this is uh, not like good grass on grass on grass over here. This is full <laughs> yeah, of grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, intellectual game. Yo, let's I'm definitely gonna, how dirt works and how plantation. Wait, what? Yeah, vegetation, not plantation. What? <laughs> I'm gonna make all this turn to dirt, and it's gonna look much better. See? Oh, it's all turned to dirt now. Yeah, it looks look a little bit better. Yeah. All right, my bad. Okay, so about the uh, healthcare, right? So we both agree that it should knock out private industry, and we both agree that it would that it would both give the government major power against pharmaceuticals. It would allow it would give the government industry. power to negotiate with pharmaceutical companies to get lower drug prices. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see. It flew up to the sky limit. That's no, no, no. That's <laughs> if you have an elytra, you get the guys. Well, I'm gonna fly up to the sky limit and see if there's a thing. An achievement? No, there's not. Dang, what's wrong with this game? Is that an achievement for going mad hot? All right. Uh, no, unfortunately, there's not an achievement for getting mad hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no the, the achievement, the achievement is called minimum sentence. Oh yep. my god, we should talk Speaking about Speaking of our criminal <laughs> justice system, what's oh my your god, opinion? Hold on, let's, let's, let's finish up on the healthcare thing. Uh, do we have anything to discuss? No, no. we still haven't, oh, wait. we still haven't settled on the, like, because I, I personally think that I'd rather not. Would you rather pay taxes for somebody else's or pay a one-time fee whenever you need? Because if we're talking about people who can't afford it, they likely can't afford private or the one-time payment that I'm proposing or the extra taxes that you're proposing. Um, right. You so know, I think you wouldn't, need, you wouldn't need to put extra taxes on poor people because those would be the people who can't afford it. Honestly, you can't if afford you if you look at the people who would save money under our current um under a transition to Medicare for all. It would be the low it would be the lower class and the middle class who save money. It would Wait, be mostly but we're not we're not talking about a transition from because a transition away from private industry will save everyone period. Yeah. The question is which transition to do. And I, I don't think it, it would be because the government would make more money and they could theoretically make it better. But I think it's going to be the same quality no matter how much we pay the government. And if we're paying them a constant rate, we're, like, it's just logical that we're losing money if we're paying them for not using it. The question I have is um, what kind of hospitals are we using? Are we using private hospitals or public hospitals? Yeah, that's, a, that's another thing. I, I'm confused. That's a, yeah. I, I, I never understood how, how – how do these things work in the UK? Do, are all – Literally, the no entire healthcare things? system is constructed yes. so that it is based on so that the entire system 
is government ran. So like the hospitals are ran by the NHS, the doctors are paid through the NHS, etc. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, f- I feel like that would be a good way to run the. We could. I don't think it would be fair to just like you know take away all the money those guys had for making their hospitals. I mean, it is their private property. I think the government can. <laughs> the government can pro- should probably. <clears throat> I, I'm going to say encourage, but I mean persuade. And when I say persuade, I mean curse, but I'm going to say encourage. Encourage the private hospitals to either sell out to the government or just straight up convert and be like slight benefactors or whatever. Because, I mean, it would be immoral to just take away money from the people who made the hospitals from the doctors, right? Yeah. So I think it's an easier conversion of doctors to public health care rather than you know, straight up huge ass buildings to public health. I think the transition from private, like specific to pri- from private <laughs> hospitals to public hospitals, would be a much more different and radical transition than the transition yes. from private health insurance to public health insurance. That's true. That's true. Because pub- transition from private health insurance to public health insurance is literally just a change in card. Mm-hmm. The transition from private hospitals to private to public hospitals is much more complicated than that. Mm-hmm. That's why I think the. That's why I think the Medicare for all bills that have been pa- that have been introduced in the House and Senate are so mm-hmm. that's why I support those because it's not actually that radical of a change if you really think about it. It's basically mm-hmm. just changing the insurance it's basically just changing the insurance of everybody over a four year period. No, but but the thing about that is you still have to have the private hospitals, which means money is un- not saved, right? There's still some middleman and you don't want the middleman. If you want to cost efficiency, you want everything to the government because the more power you give to the private, and wow, I sound like such an authoritarian. Right? I'm sorry. The more power, you, I'm going to finish my sentence because you, you're going to hear how ridiculous it sounds. The more power you give to the private sector, the less power the government has to control the prices. Wow, doesn't that sound ridiculous? Jeez, I never thought I'd say that in my life. No, but it's true. It's starting the to more sound you like think a true you communist. <laughs> No, 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 come on, commies are gay, we know that. Yeah, all right, for those commies, but, all right, so, I think we are currently beyond the scope of changing entire deeds to buildings, and I don't think there's enough information in the world about how a system like this would work on such a massive scale, Yeah. because, I mean, Europe is Europe and all, but there's no country that's even remotely close to as populated as, as the United States, the yeah. And the U.S. And still not, need, the U.S. still, I'd argue the U.S. still needs more health facilities, like community yeah. health centers, because there's a lot of ages in this country that have to have travel very large distances in order to get primary health care. So yeah, I'd yeah, say that expanding and, local community centers and transitioning to a Medicare for all health insurance system would be the best way in our current, in in order a best way to change the system with our with the way our government is set up because the mm-hmm. constitution pretty much resists any super radical change mm-hmm. because of that's the way true, it's set true. up so yeah. and uh a uk style healthcare system would probably be the end goal of um of health health um of healthcare but avengers end goal sorry yeah continue but um i feel like in our current political situation, it would be pre- transitioning to a fully public healthcare system would be almost impo- n- near impossible. Impossible. In our current, uh, improbable, I would say. Impossible is I'd not true. Near no, impossible. impossible. Near impossible. Yeah, so in that's current, in, improbable. In, our current, uh, in the current, definitely, 100%. But I feel like, like going to what you said, I think it would be difficult in big cities like New York. But um, like you said, the majority of these places are difficult. Like people don't have easy access to hospitals and healthcare in not big cities. So I think what the government can do is, is take action now or in the near future and set up the public hospitals where there are none so that they don't have to deal with the private industry later. That's, but that's, of that's course, requires a, a change. I I'd agree. So I'd you agree can't just start setting them up now. You need to make the change, and there needs to be a decision whether to do uh, universal pay and extra taxes, the middle and class, 
or you need to do the public health care system like full way through, reduce prices, no tax, but you pay up front through the government. But to do that, we of course have to deal with the problem of private hospitals, and there's no surefire way to figure out what to do with it. Yeah, I I'd, I'd say part of the part of a infrastructure deal that would help rejuvenate the country. I'd very much support expansion of local community health centers and other things in order to uh, in order to pretty much expand our in order to expand the services provided to the citizens because we do pay a lot of taxes and those taxes go to very stupid things mm-hmm. in my opinion at least like I don't see any reason why we, why we should be spending over 700 billion dollars a year on the military when we have no yeah, money. Oh my god, yeah, that's fine. I, I'm a big, again, I, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding like such a, I don't want to say fascist, nationalist. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for, nationalist. I, I disagree with people who say we shouldn't have a big military, but I think it's a tad excessive, right? We're yeah, spending like, what? Like double $700 the, billion dollars a year? To fight I think ISIS? we're spending what? like two to three times what what China is, right? And no, they've we're got spending a... like six times what China is. Is that really? Oh yeah, because yeah, they're like a hundred billion. They're like a hundred fifty. We're at seven hundred sixty. <laughs> oh my god! So that's like four, what, like four or five times. Jeez. Yes, and that's the second highest. That's true, but I I feel like it's less of a it's less of a, a actual enemy and more of a keeping up images kind of right. Because we both know that the United States, apart from the, as the world's police, some yeah. things in the Middle East, doesn't have any real enemies. But I think it's more of a like, it's it's like a like a game, and I'm not talking about like a, you know, video game, like a, like a, a show of strength. That's the word, it's a show of strength. Yeah, but because that countries make like it North, great. that doesn't make it right. That does not wrong. make it a good decision. Yeah, I'm just trying to find some reason. Now, I think there's certainly a way to you know spend less like first of all salaries right they don't need to be as high as they are especially for the majority right and also i think if the government is spending hundreds of millions of dollars hundreds they should be spending it no, no no specifically like i think the what is it, the, the f-22 I, i'm sorry i can't I don't, uh, like the next generation of fighter jet they've spent like one point <laughs> some trillion dollars on it it's yeah ridiculous. and it's sh- Shit, it's literally yeah, it shit. It can't like, even, compared, it barely can fly. No, my One bad. Billion dollars it's not bad, that can barely fly. but it's the 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 cost the cost to effectiveness ratio is so bad. Yeah, it I was a, literally every step of its development. It was disappointment after failure after failure. And not only did they sink so much money into it, they bought some too. Yeah, like why are you doing this? Like it's still the best anything you in the see, world has. Like. That's what Only that's, the support. I'd argue that's because of corruption leading back to the military industrial complex and the fact that the government takes funding from private industry. But also the fact that the government is like I don't know what not the government, sorry, the military in particular, it feels like it's not uh, it feels like it's just trying to ride off some old glory, right? They're still developing new fighter jets when clearly their their old ones are far better than the other ones. They're doing, they have their show of strength and they're pushing it so far, it, it makes it look like they're stupid. Yeah, because it's pretty stupid. It, it, it is pretty stupid, that's like, like, yeah. There is no reason we should be spending that much money on the military. <clears throat> like, yeah. zero. Like, if there, we were in the be, middle of, course, of World War 18, then sure, but not yeah. in the middle of peacetime where Pax Americana has been pretty much yeah. in control of the world since 1993. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I, I don't know where I read it. I think, I, I don't know if this, I'm 100% sure. But I know for a majority of America has been at some war. I know that for a fact. I think the last time I checked it was 92, but that does not seem, I'm just not going to. I don't think it's 92% of its time. It's probably an outdated fact or something. Yeah. But in any case, but... they're preparing for war is what they're doing, if anything. But it's a war that won't come because who's going to fight this war? China will lose. Russia will lose. North Korea will lose and then lose again. Yeah. There's nobody who can fight and there's nobody who's willing to fight. 
Yeah. The only because people who are willing to weapons. fight. No, not only because of nuclear weapons, but also because it's you can't. The U.S. military is far superior to any other military. Like That's not only true. nuclear weapons, just in general. Like China's military, they have what we have, but like plus corruption squared, right? Like cubed. Yeah, plus corruption cubed, minus as good as technology as us. Yeah. Plus mandatory. Plus service. iPhones. Yeah, yeah, facts. We don't have mandatory. That's we the good volunteer. thing about having having the uh, third largest population, right? Yeah. Is that and the richest? Po- like, I'm sorry, they're the highest G. Not high GDP, Yeah, we have highest, the high, we have the, the highest GDP economy. in the world by far. Is it? Is that really? Yeah, I believe no, we I have think, the highest GDP. China's second. I, I, I don't think, think China's caught up. It's yet. not. I think. I think you're looking for. The, Economy because GDP that's not I don't think that's true because of a population we have a, right if some country has like one billionaire but like ten people, it's gonna have a higher GDP I don't know yeah fair. I mean I'm not talking about wealth I inequality of course we don't have very bad proportionally right but you're talking about proportionally we do have a very high GDP per capita yes that's that that there's as it's true yeah I think I'm not China's saying that's catching because up. everyone has five hundred fifty thousand dollars x fifty thousand dollars a year I'm that's saying because, that because everybody's that's just, just above me right. Huh? That's because the majority of people are just over. Yeah. Um. In there, China, it's the good GDP enough. per capita is like eight thousand or something. And they 12, have thousand. The the thing about China is they're not growing fast because their economy is big. They're growing fast fast because they have workers sixfold of what we have. We have three hundred twenty six million people. Yeah. Not all of those are workers. Not yeah. all of those are functioning. I'd argue society. that we have about 280, no, not 280, like 220 two. million workers. Of No, I'd say 220 million people who can work. Yeah. Workers, I'd, I'd say up to... I'd say 210 since, million or something. Okay, I think we can settle on that, especially since we're talking zero facts here. Really. Yeah, like just no facts <laughs> Well, actually... Just yeah, hold straight spit How many... Workers in the U.S. We have access to. Why don't we use it? Yeah. Uh oh my God, dude, you're not gonna believe it. Don't Google it. Don't Google I it. I already you know why? Because it. it's 131 million. I see 160 million in 2018. Uh, I I looked up full time work. Probably. Oh, full time workers, obviously. <laughs> obviously, yeah, we so, have like 130. Okay, but that's only 30 million more people. Jesus. Yeah. That's half. So half of our no. Let's let's use the hundred and thirty number because um, part time is kind of an iffy thing, right? Like yeah. you can be selling newspapers part time. That doesn't mean you're making the dollars, you know. Yeah. So let's say let's say somewhere in the middle of hundred thirty hundred. This is a completely bullshit state, but whatever. Say hundred forty five million ish. Yeah. <clears throat> workers. That's how many workers we have. China has what? It's like four times billion. the amount of. Four times the amount of people we eight hundred billion. Four times. <laughs> you know China has one. You mean million? No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Million. <laughs> yeah, if China have, had eight hundred the billion, robots. they have like trillions <laughs> of robots out there. Yeah. In fact, China. China is more like they got the boost not because of their economy, but because they were corrupt for just long enough to to like push themselves into not being super. And now they just have what's like the residue of. Yeah. yeah, but in any case, they have six. I'm sorry, four times the amount of people. Not not to mention work. Yeah, like twenty five. If if only twenty percent of their people work, that's yeah. already like more than what we have. That's already more than what's possible for us to even have yeah. theoretically. Yeah, but it's more than twenty percent. Children work, adults, elderly. Um, if you're okay, the only reasons you don't work are if you're in government. No, government is a job. Sorry. If you're in the no, military, is a job. If you are a baby, or if you are too frail to work. If children work in China, yeah, old people work in China. I'm sure they probably have slaves. I'm not gonna say yes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, have... you see what they're doing in a in a northern Hong Kong. China oh, against northern the, China. No, against the Uyghurs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yikes! That's some real <laughs> Hitlery shit over there. Yeah. Also, they're like you know. The government just ignores the fact there's illegal smuggling of fuels coming from northern China, Mongolia, that kind of stuff. Let's just, In let's just gloss over that. Freaking Jerry, Jerry, Jerry wants to join into the thing as well. God, He's uh, sending us. Oh my god, hold on. 
Right. Uh, Eric, and... Eric, thank you for helping us. He says, yeah. and he gave us the number of China's population. Thank you, Eric. Yes, I know. It's 1.4 <clears throat> billion, but I don't really... Oh, hi, all Trump, Jesus. Hi, all doesn't mean anything bad. Health... I, I see somebody said healthcare should not be free. <clears throat> Yeah, David. David was part of the conversation. He agreed with my idea of uh, a single time pay, but I mean, eh, to each his own, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so what were we saying? Yeah. Oh my God, the situation in Hong Kong, dude. I mean, China's an authoritarian government trying to authoritarianly or be authoritarian over an authoritarian. Like, I mean, I don't. I don't want to sound like you know 1984, but just control people's thoughts. You know? Like seriously. Yeah. <clears throat> China has so Bridge much power. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. China has so much power. It's ridiculous that they can't make their people like cooperate. Like I know it sounds ridiculous, right? But they have stupid power compared to what the United States. If there were rebellions going on in Rhode Island, the U.S. government would have essentially no power compared to what China can do. It, right? Yeah. China can make this problem disappear overnight. And nobody will bat an eye because they're China. Nobody cares. Do you know what the U.S. is going to do if China kills everybody in Hong Kong? You know what? They're going to do nothing. Nobody will do anything. You can't sanction China. China sanctions you. Yeah. China is like U.S. 2.0, except they don't have morals and they have the power to back it up. Yeah. Uh, you need to something. you need to address them. It's like they don't <laughs> even have to keep up the facade of dem dem um, democratism. <laughs> Yeah, democ just, democracy, democracy, dude. The democratism. And that's democratism. Final. Yes. Okay, that's fair. Oh <clears throat> yeah. Facts, facts. These are these are straight facts. Like, Jeez. Yeah, China just doesn't have to deal with the. Uh, doesn't even have to. They don't. They can. They can like fix it in so many better ways, but they're just not doing it. I don't know what they're afraid of. Maybe Xi Jinping has gone senile. Is that what's going on? Uh, you know, authoritarianism is not doesn't have to make sense because you're in control. But it doesn't look like he's in control, right? Am I am I crazy here? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, all right. Sorry, what were what were we? Now? Healthcare. Yeah, but we kind of finished up healthcare. Honestly. Not healthcare, sorry. What was it? Military budget. Yeah, the military being dumb. <laughs> yeah, the military budget's dumb. All right, next question. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go back to what what I was about to randomly pivot to. The criminal justice yeah. system sucks. Oh yes, of course, of course, of course, yes. My yeah, yeah I agree with you one hundred percent. Any crime, no trial, no jury, just shoot them in the head. No. Let's let's That's we can't just say criminal shit over there. <laughs> we can't just say the system sucks because we both know that leads to nothing because it's not specific. Yes. We need something specific. So Mandatory what are you you're talking about? Are garbage. Mandatory. They should not exist. No. I agree with you. In in three I don't, strikes I, I, laws I, are garbage. They should not exist. What the fuck is a three strikes laws? We're you not do, in you get three. You get you do you commit three crimes and you're in jail like forever. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. You're lying. There's like, no way that's no. That's that's that. That's what it is. Okay. Ah, Jesus Christ. Then you're clearing out the Trump. No, no, no. I'm making it. Uh... Dump. <laughs> no, do you not see what I'm doing? I'm making it so that it's legible. Trump. Dump. Oh, Dump. there we go. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what is that M? <laughs> I mean, you made it, not me. <laughs> Here, let's let's fix it. Jeez. Jesus Christ! All right. Hold on. Okay. The oh, P is pretty on. good. All right. That's fine. Trump. Yo. Trump. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, let's let's get back to it. So, mandatory, mandatory minimums. I'm for Trump. Mandatory minimums. <laughs> right. So, I, I, I know, I, I don't, like, the thing I'd say about myself is I hate communists, and I hate people who think they're going to be a utopia, but, because they're delusional, right? Yeah. But I would say that in, a, in my idea of a perfect society, the people who would be getting arrested are so what I think should happen is 
drug de- no so first people who use drugs right in any case it sh- instead of mandatory minimums mandatory period end of story Jerry, like, it's no, not... I'm not gonna add the basic econ student. I don't want to hear supply and demand. This is why we can't have nice things. Frick you. <laughs> Jerry, okay, we're not, everybody, like, Jerry, we're not talking to seventh graders here. Everybody understands the concept of supply and demand. It's in... Supply, you see these, you see where these two lines intersect? That's... Yes, that's, that's the sweet that... spot. <laughs> you see where those two lines intersect? Right? This you is see the, the supply this, and demand we, curve? This is why everyone <laughs> should starve to death. Oh my god. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's step back. So yeah, so as I was saying... Anyway, right, we, the, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was thinking, right? So people who are caught using drugs... Because I still stand by... I don't know if we've discussed this oh, you know, wait. thing before. Yeah, we've discussed drug legalization before. I yeah. support uh, decriminalization of almost everything. because I still be stand by... I stand by uh, illegalizing everything. I'm sorry, legal. No, yeah, making all drugs illegal because drugs are not. No, I don't, I don't care. Don't. What, sorry, hold on, hold to on. Cut you off. Let me, Jonathan. No, okay. Stop. I'm not going okay. to add you. <laughs> I don't um, need somebody um, who's gonna be yo. Exist. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, you know what? At the end, once we run out of stuff to talk about, we'll start taking ideas and discussion from you guys, alright? Okay. Does that sound fair? When we run out of stuff, alright? That's, that's, okay. that's, I think that's fair. As I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted by Jonathan, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, the reason I think they should be illegal is not because to make, you know, criminalize people or to stop a business or whatever. It's just because... There's no reason that anybody, like, not cultural, not for, you know, for recreation, you shouldn't be doing drugs that, because all the drugs that are part of this topic of conversation are somehow harmful to your body, right? Like, yeah, it's, because there's not a single drug that, because if it's not harmful well, to I you, mean, it's not even considered, it's usually legal. Medic. Right? I mean, medicines are drugs. They're just positive drugs. No, no, no. Legal, legal and prescription are different. Um, right? But legal. Um, so, like... Yeah, continue. You, you, say, you, you kept saying, I, I, want you, I want you to get your points out. Um, like, medical marijuana is... You could say that's a drug, but that's just mm-hmm. high CBD no, marijuana. No, no, no. But, no, no. The difference is... The, the prescription isn't marijuana. It's CBD. I mean, there's CBD. Oh, wait, oil I'm sorry. Is it CBT or D? D it's right? CBD. Like, it okay, basically okay, just okay. means cannabis. CBT stands for something. Yeah, okay. it's the uh, most. THC is the drug part of it. THC is the drug. The reason I don't count that as an example is because you're not legalizing marijuana. You're making medical CBD. That's different. That's a whole other. Oh, Jonathan said through Instagram, fuckhead. Weed is not oh. harmful. Joe Rogan podcast DM. <laughs> yes, because if, if Joe Rogan says it and smokes it live on the podcast, that must mean it's true. Exactly. It's not like studies have shown that it stunts your brain development. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you smoke it kid, under like kids adult shouldn't age. Kids be getting drugs. Like, that's kind of yeah. obvious. Like, it's but also a separate legal... discussion of children and adults because children and adults isn't 18 and under 18 over 18 it's like you know 24 25 above and under because that's when your brain's really going to develop yeah i'd argue Sorry. that um well voting should be i'd argue voting oh well, should be well, voting is a let's 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 stop on the voting for a second let's finish with the drugs and then we'll go um, to the drug use that's i feel like d- drugs should be decriminalized because we shouldn't focus all? on almost all of course not like everything. Like, what would you? You'd, how you would you draw you the line? You don't want freaking angel dust being out there. We don't want freaking elephant tranquilizers out there. You don't so, want all that garbage. But for, for purely recreational purposes, because again, as I said, medical is completely different because it's regulated one hundred and ten percent, right? Yeah. For recreational purposes, how would you draw the line? Um, I'd argue that drugs that. Literally just kill you or not allowed because they literally just kill well, you. Well, I mean, no, 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 no. That's just I'm talking about recreational. Recreational use? 
Um, because remember, all drugs I'd that say are drugs, recreational use are. I'd say drugs that don't like severely inhibit your mental state should be what does legal. that all recreational drugs so severely like, inhibit your mental state so like cigarettes for example cigarettes don't like cigarettes make you like our cigarettes don't make you like not able to all function people. some people especially the youth it makes you like super stupid lightheaded not stupid and lightheaded just it makes you lightheaded and that that's can because lead you're to a brain kid brain. that 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 can lead to brain that's I'm How not would you saying draw the... you should use. So we're so okay. We're in agreement that we're talking about adults fully grown yes. and adults, right? Okay. Yes. So okay, for for just a second, because it's gonna be a short tangent. What about children? I'm a solid no for both. But are you children under the age of say 23, 20, 21? Yeah, say, no, say of course not. You don't not want children okay. ingesting drugs. So we're we're in agreement there. Now side tangent, not the side All tangent. Right, give me a second. Where do, do you where, where do you draw? Oh my god, I can see the messaging. Alright, so I'm just going what to... Age? Please turn off the notifications, dude. I'm trying to. What? Later, to guys. Later, turn off notifications for Instagram. This is what you guys made me do, you freaking retards. <laughs> Look what you made this me do. This is a real cock and ball, don't you, drunk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I kept saying CBT instead of CBD until I realized CBD. <laughs> <laughs> Medical CBT. <laughs> yo, yo, guys, guys, hashtag legalize med- legalized medical CBT. All right. <laughs> okay, sorry, no. sorry, sorry. We need to start that. Right. All right. Um, I got a friend request from Coomer. Oh my god. All right. All right. Okay. I let's. Apparently. So, oh, go ahead. Yeah. So, what about jewels? Jewels shouldn't be legal for kids. Simple. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. There's some people who are like, no, no. And some people are jewels Johnson, are, by the way. Jewels haven't been out for <laughs> for scientific studies to be done on what their effects Long enough, are. Yeah. So, and because yeah, of that, true, they true. should not be legal for kids. There you go. Simple. Yeah. Simple and fact. Okay, so now plain adults, right? So we're we're yeah. out past the issue of brain development because that's already so developed. A fully developed, I can't responsible think. adult should be allowed. No, 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 no. Responsible is not something you can gauge, especially yeah, exactly. not. But you can gauge. I'm just saying in perfect land. In perfect land, but we're 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 the drugs are not a thing. In my perfect land, drugs are not a thing, and I in mean, your perfect land, they are. I mean, right. Can, can I, I just mean, get that from you? So, like, yeah, I agree. In perfect land, drugs wouldn't really be a thing because drug use mainly stems okay, from. Okay, so if we're striving for problems, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Can you repeat what you said? You cut out for a second. Um, I... drug use mostly stems from personal problems in someone's life, or yes, like there's many times where drug use is um a side effect of poverty because pe- yes, that's, that's the only true, way for people true. to get um to get away out emotionally. Mm-hmm. And okay, I just want to pause for a second. Jonathan just said weed cures cancer. Weed, marijuana, does shit. It doesn't do anything. CBD has some medical purposes, not for curing anything. It reduces symptoms related to anxiety. That is it. <laughs> Joker kills Murray and goes crazy. It's pretty gamer epic. No, how could you say that? Oh, All right, hide user on this channel. Put user in timeout. Yeah. No. Oh no! Wait, did you actually yeah, <laughs> put user in time? <laughs> we don't you just put Joker in t- out here. Freaking... How could you do that, Eric? I still haven't watched Cuck. Okay. What a cook! I bet he loves getting cucked by Ben Cuck Piro. <laughs> I bet he. I bet he supports medical CBT. <laughs> I bet he supports. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> medical <laughs> CBT. <laughs> no, medical CBD. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. All so right, back to serious time. Yeah, serious time. Well, what were we saying? Um, okay. I don't know. Let's. Okay. So away from fantasy land, away from the subjective. Can we go back to the sentencing laws? Is what we started off. Oh with? yeah, mandatory think... minimums. Mandatory right, minimums so are stupid. There's no reason why I agree you should with be you. mandated I agree. to have a minimum sentence for a certain. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. So. 
for a second. Before we go off on the whether drugs should be legal or not, let's just go off of what their laws are now and what they sh we think they so. should be. So first, based on the laws that are now, I I don't I I, I I assuming they are still criminalized. I do agree with you. Minimum sentencing laws are stupid for drug use. I'm going because to, I'm going to ask you something. Should marijuana be on the same tier of danger as heroin and cocaine? No, not not even close. Well, that's how it's legally. That's how it is. That's legally. I know. I know. Yes, Schedule one for some. God knows reason. Oh wait, it's I know the reason. Ridiculous. Nixon, a Nixonade. Mexican. I'm a Nixonade reported on it. Um, a Nixonade uh, said it on a CNN article. It's because they wanted to keep down those hippies and black people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that was also an official quote from. I think was it Reagan or who's who's ever Secretary of State at the time? Um, Nixon. Nixon. Yeah. So his. I think one of his one of his like advisors thing. Yeah. Like admitted that that's why they did it. Yeah. That's what I was talking referring to. Anyway, yeah. So as as you as you was saying, I think I was saying. Yeah. I think that um, th there should be three different types of punishments for uh, crimes relating to drugs, right? So I, yeah. assuming they are still illegal following current law, I think if it's using drugs for possession, no, possession and using are different. Possession without like clear intent, you can't really say. But okay, so possession and using. I, I agree with you that it's not an issue if somebody just wants to do it. It's usually an issue in their personal lives, right? Yeah. So I think w instead of mandatory minimums, it should be mandatory. Right? Um, I not only could you... Uh, well, mandatory rehab. Yeah. Like, Because not only is that a, like a positive thing, it also is like it doesn't sound as bad as, you know, oh my god, I got caught. I better you know, hide the drugs and they're going to send me to prison instead of, oh my god, I have a real problem. You know, I'll just go to the police, tell them I have a problem, they'll take my drugs away and they'll send me to rehab. Yeah. Sounds much better than they'll send me to prison. Yeah. Because, because one of the problems, that's if you know you have a drug problem, you can't really do it. Because if you go to somebody, they might report you to the police, whatever. You know? Um, if you go to a rehabilitation center, um, you you oh, don't. well, obviously that's different. Yeah, that's that's. Different. Yeah, but most but, people won't go straight to the rehab center. Right? You want to know a reason why? Costs. It costs money. thousands of dollars. <laughs> that's oh yeah, because the, of I, our I, private health care system, which yeah. is perpetuated by a corrupt political system because the politicians take freaking private funding. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Like, I think corruption, like corruption, when it's found out should be just as punished as other crime. Like, it should be... It should be... No, it should be so severe that people are afraid to do it. Yeah. Either that or you make it so that politicians have a capped income while they're in office. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, and dear God, if you work... You should be at any point, like, randomly, no discussion, you should be able to... No discussion. Wait, what did you say? Random time. Okay, any government official at any point uh, should, without discussion, be audited if by request, like, say, the IRS, whatever. Yeah. There is no reason any government official should deny on. There's no reason, except yeah. if they're hiding. Yeah. Right? Like, can you think of... I cannot think of one logical reason to deny an audit unless you're hiding. Yeah. Oh, my God. And uh, the IRS is... Jesus... The IRS no. does not play around. They want, yeah. they're they're they gonna get that money. <laughs> they do not mess. Do yeah. not mess with the IRS. <laughs> yeah, do not mess with the IRS. No, the you IRS made, it made out of coal ore. No, no, no. I know, I know. I'm just shortening it to match all the other ones. Okay, good. Yeah, these are <laughs> Nico. I don't know if you were using medical marijuana, but they <laughs> <laughs> unmatched. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, my letters are great. They're tremendous, believe me. <laughs> they are the biggest letters of all. They are the most amazing, unbelievable letters. Okay, believe me. Bum 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 letters. I got 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 got. I got got sponge bob me bob me bob me. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what the laugh is. Sponge me sponge me sponge me sponge. <laughs> Spongy my boy. 
<laughs> Sponge me, Bob. I've gotten arrested due to minimum sales. Although I did not have any weed on me, I was selling it. <laughs> so now I get to go to jail for 12 years. I, 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 I will have easy access to ketamine because the prison is horrible. <laughs> I get, 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 get. <laughs> oh, wait. Did we talk about the Why are prisons so oh. terrible? Oh my god, it's because the people who are put there are terrible. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah, realistically, if you think about it, prisons aren't supposed to be a whole people to die in unless they are supposed to die in. That's what death row is. Yeah. Prisons are supposed to be they're, like a like a they're, reformation to character. Yeah, rehabilitation. That's what a prison's supposed to hmm. be for. It's, it's poor man's for, rehab. Rather than for punishment, and that's it. Like, seriously, goddamn. Like, nah, man. Like, come on. I want to be able to go to prison, start a gang, and feel better about I mean, <laughs> like, come on, guys. I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. Anti-gamer speech. It's this my anti speech to be able to form a gang and overthrow the government. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. Yeah, I, I feel like if the government's protecting my rights to the government, it's doing the right job. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Why are we both sounding like Ben Shapiro? <laughs> because Ben Shapiro is the most amazing and tremendous people. Oh, believe me, unbelieve me. Oh my God. Uh, Yo, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not. Really I'm not, not talking any sense. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep talking and talking fast, and I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be making sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, guys, guys. Just because I talk really fast doesn't mean I don't have any. That if I talk fast enough, you won't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. AOC, please, the baby. AOC, please, the baby. AOC, please, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not bored to baby. I'm bored to baby. <laughs> AOC, please, the baby. AOC, please, the baby. Me. Uh, I'm definitely not just looking for attention. Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine Someone's freaking on. Ben Shapiro attempting to debate like Noam Chomsky. That would just oh be a Im no, immediate. I'm, I'm not gonna lie here. I don't know much about Chomsky's. Chomsky's I've kind heard of like a weird character. It's like one of those names you hear, right? It's like I don't, I don't know what to, to compare it to. What even is this supposed to be? <laughs> You'll see. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Is that a command oh, block? Fuck. No, that's not a command block. What is that? Like that? These are loom. These are new one point fourteen. Oh. Hold on. Anyway, yeah. Um, I mean, hey, hey, on the topic hey, of bench. Look. Look at one moment. Sponge me, Bob. Sponge me, Bob. <laughs> Sponge me, Bob. Oh, Sponge Bob, I've been arrested for my cat addiction. Yeah, now I get to serve prison sentence of 20 plus years. Yay! <laughs> Our system is very good. It's definitely not the worst thing in the entire planet. Yes. SpongeBob, me boy, if, if you get a letter in the mail with the, with the secret recipe, don't worry, it's because I've been put on death row. <laughs> Sponge no, me, boy. Is... I was arrested for drug possession three times. Now I don't get to live no more. Sponge me, sponge. I've been sponged. Help. Sponge me, boy. You've been to jail once, two more times, and you go to jail for life. <laughs> That's how it works here in our country. <laughs> Mandatory three strikes laws are great and definitely not unconstitutional. At all. You know, I, don't th I actually don't think they're unconstitutional. Getting Immoral. 20 years in prison for get stealing 50 <laughs> bucks? Because Remember, if laws? you do five years of crime, you get 50 lifetimes. Exactly. Prison. Yeah, alright. Yeah, sorry, on the topic of, of Ben Shapiro and that bro, I really hate people who just regurgitate ideas that are I'm not talking about Jonathan when I stand about Jonathan, but Jonathan has like almost no <laughs> idea. Everything he gets is from somebody. Joe Rogan, Ben Shapiro. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ, Jonathan. Don't let me go. What the fuck? Okay, we back. I'm back because of these people. But yeah, okay. it's fine. All right. it, was a, it was a bit of a glitch. All right. What, what topics did we... Did we jump around a little? Did we not finish? Did we? Did we do? Oh yeah, I, I kept. I thought about the drug crime length. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so for minimum, you... just apply to everything, by the way. Yeah. yeah. 
So I think for using, instead of the mandatory minimum, it should be mandatory rehabilitation. Because if you think about it, you can send a person to rehab enough times that they just won't do it again. But if you send somebody to prison, it's it's like asking them to do it again, right? Yeah. Because if, 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 if all you're trying to do, if each time they make a mistake, all you them, they're going to realize it's again. Yeah. But if each time they make a mistake, they just spend more time in a place that teaches them to make mistakes then that's all they're going to do, right? Yeah. You don't you don't you don't send a mafia boss to jail with other people from the mafia. Yeah. You send them to a rehabilitation. Well, actually no, mafia boss is different than some drug dealers. Yeah. Now, for 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 the actual spreading or production cell whatever of the drug, I 100% agree that 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 should be a because you're degenerating society, you live in society. You're degenerating society, and you're, you know, you're essentially poisoning our population, and you're making illegal money off the back of it. So everybody but you is losing, and you're not even following our laws, right? Yeah. And on top of it, it's usually a monopoly, which isn't. Yeah. So I think there should be obviously longer sentences, sentencing, uh, producing. But there also should be fairly long for uh, distribution, right? Yeah. Because... But I... But the problem is, to me, um, we've tried prohibition many t- many a time for many well, different um, substances, and well, it hasn't worked anymore. Um, besides alcohol, what other time? Um, is, alcohol and marijuana. Besides uh, Marijuana wasn't prohibition. As, marijuana worked much better because there was a racial propaganda behind it. Right. Yeah, and alcohol prohibition so just alcohol started. was just a thing. Yeah. Alcohol is, I'd say, argue alcohol is a little bit different just because of the thousands of years of history. How much? Uh, that's what. Alcohol. Like, okay, I'm, I'm dude, when it comes to alcohol, I'm conflicted, right? Because culture, history, all of that stands by its side. But logically, it should be treated just as all the other ones. In fact, it's worse than most. I'm like, if there was a choice between if 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 there was a choice between having alcohol legal i'd replace me for alcohol any day less danger yeah because the risk of somebody you know car crash drunk is much worse than uh you know you know crashing while you're on how would you call it, on weed uh, while you're high I'm yeah yeah like drunk right. driving is something i me and yeah, my brother driving. one day we were um we just got back drunk in the bullet driving car. casually uh, <laughs> um, with, and my dad was drunk while driving. Oh. So we had to yeah, specifically that's... plot and pretty much come to an agreement without speaking to go to uh-huh. a restaurant so that he would get less drunk so that we could not um, die while on the drive home. Yeah, that's fact. The worst part about it is there's no easy way to tell your friend, especially like boomers, because boomers grew up in a world where that was just a thing you do, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I had a shot or two or ten, you know, it's, I'll be fine, whatever. <laughs> ten shots, you're, like, actually dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the Ruskies. The, like, for uh, example, the Ruskies with... are not human. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are gods among men. <laughs> they, they, their, their alcohol tolerance level is, like, Three high. Years, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. smoking weed, that's, that's not easy. Drinking two bottles of vodka. Oh, now you're that's out easy. Of Somehow, I I understand. I understand. Yeah, you kept cutting out. There. I didn't hear all of what you said. You cut. Oh, uh. All right, give me a second. All right. I I I got what you were general saying. That. Yeah, Russians can smoke weed and then get high. Br- but if they drink a bottle of vodka, they're fine. Well, they're mostly fine. The alcohol tolerance level is on a different fucking plane. Yeah. Than um, everyone else. Um, it doesn't harm lung capacity. And it, Jonathan says smoking weed does not, not harm lung capacity. And it may even improve. I don't know where you got where that. but if your answer, from? If your and if your answer is Joe Rogan, I'm going to ask Nico to put you in time. <laughs> hey, no, 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 John. 
Uh, it's the chemical in marijuana. It's not marijuana. It's not THC. It's no nope. CBD. All right, give me a sec. I gotta go. That's Jonathan. Everything you're mentioning right now is CBD, not marijuana. Marijuana, CBD, and THC, and the marijuana found on the street Where are you has high concentration. Huh? I'm talking. I'm, I'm responding to Jonathan in the chat. I know. Yeah, Jonathan, listen to me. Any benefit of marijuana comes from CBD, and the ones found on the street, the ones that will be in sale if it's legalized, are grown, are genetically grown to have less CBD and more THC. CBD is the medication, and THC is what gets you high. People don't want the medication. And the part that gets you high, plus the smoke, is um, <laughs> is the dangerous part. And that's that's what people that's what people smoke. They don't smoke. Uh, they don't go do it for the CBD. I, I forgot Jonathan. that I put cereals, cereal kills gaming in timeout. You can you can put it you can put them out of timeout. Harvard Health Jonathan, publishing again. logo pay my bill card free health beat shine up shop. Sign oh in gosh. heart health inside heart health. Blood pressure C. <laughs> Jonathan, it's literally the first the first the first word in that series of things you pasted in was a chemical. You're stupid. Yes, Jonathan, I agree with you. Weed is better than alcohol, but the, but better than and good are two different things. Both of them are bad. Drugs in general are bad, most of the... Yeah. Well, narcotics, I guess the word would be. At 25, moderate weed is beneficial. No. At 25, if medically necessi necessary, controlled amounts of medically administered CBD, CBD. alone is beneficial. CBD intensive marijuana or CBD oil. CBD is not nothing to do with marijuana. It's inside, but it's in low concentration. The weed you can't you get type this. Drug There's a 30 second delay, by the way, Jonathan. By the time you're hearing this, I said this 30. Okay, do we have. Okay, so I guess this is something that if we add him later, we can discuss. Yeah. Um. Uh, is there anything. Are there any other topics you want to discuss while we have rational time? Corruption. Holy Corruption. Holy. Where? 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 Corruption the U.S. I'm assuming. In our U on the United States government is mm -hmm. a very major problem that needs to be fixed now. But we mm -hmm. gotta get every, rid of everybody first. <laughs> we gotta kill them all. We gotta get rid kill of all the Mexicans. Kill all the damn Mexican cans and cannons. But um, like seriously, it's pretty. Un our current political system is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, it's, but the thing about it is, it can't stop corruption, but they can't do anything about it because how do you deal with corruption, right? Well, how do you deal with any problem? You go to the police. How do the police deal with it? They either arrest somebody or go to their superiors, and if they're high enough government officials, you can't arrest them, so you have to go to your superiors, and eventually you go up to the chain. And the that's, only person who can stop the corrupt person is the corrupt person. Yeah, that's the because, problem. Because of the system, it's, it's like turning the system of checks and balances on its head, right? Yeah. Because there, nobody can be trusted to not be corrupt, there's always going to be corruption. Because if you can't trust one, all you need is one party that can be uncorrupt. But unfortunately, every party is humans, and humans are always corrupt when they can. Greed is one of the seven deadly sins. Yes, and you know what the That's other others, even if we if I feel like you would have to start a government, you have to write a constitution that are at the beginning includes measures against corruption in order to have corruption be not be an issue. But what would those measures of corruption be, right? Like because there's the income of people in the government. Wouldn't that cause more corruption? Wouldn't that give them? That would give them more incentive to go corrupt. They would make more money. No, I'm, I mean, they they would have to... They wouldn't be legally allowed to make... <laughs> they more, would... To make... This is where I go back to the... At any point, they should them. be able to audit it. Yeah. Th that's what I meant earlier when I said that. I said that a government official, no questions asked at point, should be able to not only, like, comply with an audit, but be able to produce a valid one yeah. and 
it also if the I don't care what people think, but if a government official is paying somebody for something that's not personal, then not only should it be public information, but it shouldn't be allowed. Like, no government official should be allowed to pay any other official for non-personal reasons. For example, you know, if your pol pol political buddy, like, bought you gas one time and you're paying back, fine. If you're paying somebody for any reason to change their opinion, you not only should that not be allowed, you sh your pay should be docked, if not, you should be removed from the government, and you should have to pay back a certain amount of money. So not only does that give them, um, that, uh, that gives them a consequence, they'll lose their job and their income, but it also gives them something more to think about. Not only will they lose future money, they lose past money. Yeah. And if they can't pay up, they're in debt. And, you know... Well, the only thing worse than being in debt to a private thing is being in debt to the government yeah. while being a former government. So you can't, not only can you not find anything, any other job in government, yeah. you will not be taken seriously. If somebody asks you, why were you fired for your last job? Oh, I tried to, you know, I tried to bribe somebody. Yeah. And that's why. I got it. Because the consequences need to be harsh because corruption yeah. is one of those things where there is no excuse. There is no simple explanation. It's either you're doing something wrong so if it's slightly wrong, it's completely wrong. Yeah, because a government by, of, and for the people should be by, of, and for the people, you know? Mm -hmm. Rather than by, of, and but for, for the people who pay us. Yes. No, this is fact. So what do you think? So you think that there should be uh, less pay in general? Um, No. Um, I think that salary should be raised, but those sal but their income should be capped at that salary. They can only make their oh. salary in um in a year. And if they're caught making more than that salary, then yeah. that that extra the money that is above the, what their salary makes is either um is pretty much just straight given to the government to put it to use. Yeah. So that there, well, so that your only in, in financial incentive would be to do your job, rather than that's trying true, true. to use your position of power to, mm -hmm. to um, yeah, so in, to grow your wealth in exchange for not listening to the people. And yeah, that's actually perfect. That's like very uh, symbiotic with the idea of the anytime audit for any. Yeah. <clears throat> because it should it should be like that. Yeah. By the way, turn off fire spreads the structure down so you can put as much fire as you want. Oh, you did? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Sick. Um, that's why this fire's not going away. Yeah, otherwise the building would be burnt down already. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you 110%. Corruption is the number one problem in any government. If there was no corruption, the only way to go would be for Yeah. Because if you're doing corruption, and you're forced to work on the you can do is... Wait, your that's voice was glitching out. I didn't hear what you said. I mean, just think about it logically. If you're not, if you if you can't corrupt yourself and go backward, and you're forced to you're forced to work, otherwise you don't get paid, and there's no personal benefit rather than serving your country, which, by the way, should be a personal benefit. Okay? Yeah, serving like, your country serving is. Serving your country benefit. should make you proud. It shouldn't just be yeah. I want to be in this position of power to have this position of power. Yeah. So all those things combined should be like enough to like essentially co force people the only move they have to make is to either not do your job and get fired or do your job and so it, it basically defaults into progress hmm. yeah exactly it defaults into I'm... listening to the people yeah oh okay uh well that that again was solved pretty we oh, agreed much more this time than we did last time. I think. Yeah, but but last time we had like not many topics, right? We were yeah, just set. We're just talking stuff. about drug legalization. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my favorite quote will always and forever be: "We should shoot down any Columbus planes that come into our country." Yeah. I don't think that's how I. Say it. Yeah. I think if we look back at the original stream, yeah, it's gonna be like something. if they don't respond to the radio. And they're in U.S. airspace. They're they shoot them down. 
get gunned. But I mean, is that such a ridiculous thing? If they're not complying and they're in foreign and they're in our space, like because if they're there for a legitimate reason, they they will comply, right? Because they, why wouldn't they? That's if they're there for a legitimate reason, that's their job to comply. If they're there for a personal flight, right? Like they're just flying around and they have all the things, they should have no problem landing. Because if worst case scenario, you know, it costs them money, that's like minor costs the government can make up. Like the government can refuel you in exchange for landing and having them check your credentials. It's like no problem. So yeah. if somebody doesn't comply, that can only mean they're doing something wrong or their plan has something wrong. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting that people fly around with their plans like nothing I mean something wrong with it because I think every modern plane that can fly has a functional radio. Yeah. And actually you can't even get a license to fly without having a functional plane. So if your plane's not functional you shouldn't be flying here. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this is I mean, not you, really some the you think it's of, a bit too much? Yeah, the issue of people Ex the pe people flying in planes to do drug deals is not really something I'm thinking about. Well, I mean, <laughs> a majority of the drugs come into this country, right? Yeah, but um, I feel like you, it's very hard to deal but, with the drug problem on the supply side. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, we're facts. talking about supply and demand. <laughs> oh my god, Jerry, Jerry come on in. No. Jerry. Jerry, we finally got to your stupid finance major, where the only reason you chose it is not because you're in economics, but because you don't get any homework. Isn't that right, Jerry? Freaky, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Polak. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm draining the river. Oh, well, yeah, we're, let's drain the swamp. All right. Oh my god. Yo, follow oh, me. Oh, Amazon rainforest? Question mark. Yo, follow me. We gotta drain the swamp. All right. I saw some swamp. Wait, no. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me clear all the spung. Eh. Yeah. No. Let me clear the spung and make it look. Yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? We gotta go drain the swamp. Okay. Come on. Yeah, because the supply. Yeah, let's go drain the swamp. Hold on. Slash TP. No, I'm right here. I got you. I'm here. So, All right, oh my god, drain swag swamp. We gotta got drain, drain the swamp. swamp. But make sure you destroy the, the sponge thing afterwards so we have like a pretty looking thing. Yeah, we gotta dra let's drain the swamp, alright? Yeah, by the way, make sure you don't get like an in- Jesus, this is the exact opposite. Look, I'm placing them so sparsely and you're just like going at it. Yeah, because who cares? Oh my god, okay, okay. We gotta drain the swamp. We, we gotta go, we don't drain the drain. swamp slowly, we drain the top we drain the swamp quickly. We do it right we, now. We drain the swamp. We don't drain we drain the swamp with the quickest and uh, most effective use of draining. Shoot possible. down the swamp planes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> get them out of our air swamp space. Yeah, exactly. Get 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 out of my swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my swamp, you dirty swamp. I heard a spider. That means the spider's part of the swamp and it needs to be drained. Uh, Just like you're gonna Rodham drain this part of the swamp. You're gonna drain the spider? Do you know how weird that sounds? No. It sounds kind of gay to me, dude. Bestiality confirmed? Confirm. <laughs> gay confirm? Question <laughs> mark? All right, all right. Hillary Harodham Clinton. Yeah, who the fuck's name is there? Who's, whose last name is Harodham? I know it's not Harodham. It's just wrong. Like, damn. We, we're draining the swamp. <laughs> Hillary Haram Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Haram Bay Clinton. Oh, no. Not the Bay. All right, hold on. Let's let's border let's border it off and contemporary clearly clearing some sponges. Yeah. Like, How clear the inner it? sponges. You want to know the easiest way to clear the sponges? What? I'll show you. Don't TNT. Don't TNT. No, no, no we want to pre Come on, Nico. We're preserving the swamp. By the way, while we're draining the swamp, we're talking about the Amazon rainforest. Oh yeah, the Amazon Nico. rainforest. Um, fashion. Nico, no. We gotta, we no, gotta this... drain the swamp by blowing Nico, it up. Nico, this is gonna make it. No, this is gonna make it more difficult. Can ask. Be inefficient. Yo, this is the quickest way to to drain this to to remove the swamp. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, let me. Let me... I got you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 
slash summon. I don't have these commands. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Boop. And... <laughs> Look at all that swamp that was drained. Jesus, that I don't know. No, TNT doesn't remove water, you know that. I know, but <laughs> it got rid of all the sponges that were filled with the swamp that needed to be drained. Oh my! Wait, hold on, hold on. You know the most fun thing to do? Watch it. You can do this in survival. Come on. Hold on. Where you at? What oh, you need is any rail and any TNT. Are you here? Yeah. So you need any rail and any. Uh, you need a TNT minecart. You go over here and you get you get rid of the rail. And then you put the leaves back as if nothing happened. Oh. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then can you come down here, please? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to make a little platform. Can you take off your armor and go into survival mode? I don't have op commands. I don't have bot permissions. Slash game mode. Don't don't break anything just yet. Game mode survival. Pikachu slash give Pikachu. Can you take off your armor? I give you diamond next. Okay. Can you break down the ch uh Oh. Hey. <gasps> oh, move out of the way a little bit. Oh wow, that didn't work at all. Ah, that sucks. Well, anyway, as I was saying, what? It's not working. Frick. Oh, does it need to be a certain height? What the hell is going on here? Why isn't it? Alright, well, let me game on creative. Oops, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, alright, so let's, let's get back. Do we have any other... Um, I don't have any other... Or do, wait, sorry, did we, did we finish this? Yeah. So now we open it up right. to y'all guys, I guess. So wait, wait, we're, 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 we're done then? Okay, let's... Let me... Oh my god, I've got so many messages from then. Okay. Oh yeah, could you, could you could you untime out Eric, by the way? I think he's untimed out already. Oh, Is okay. he not? I timed it out for <clears> 300 <throat> seconds. Damn, damn. Uh, okay, hold on. And... And I'm gonna. Yeah, everyone's fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for a second. Who is this person? Uh, no, I just added him to make the group. Okay, okay. hold on. Okay, who wanted in? Jonathan wanted in? Jonathan, them? yeah. Coomer. <clears throat> Alright, hello, Coomer. We'll take... What we'll take, we'll take... Hello. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome to... Welcome to... And... Okay. Alright. Am I in the podcast? Alright, I'm gonna add Polish as well. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I in the podcast, right, the podcast right now? No yeah, way. The There's no way I'm on the podcast. You're on the podcast, Jonathan. You're joking. How do you feel? This has been my childhood dream. Nice. <laughs> Yo, this is a very sad childhood dream you have. Yes. I'm I'm literally the best podcaster out of all of you. I was Joe Rogan. You were? I've watched Joe Rogan as well. I've watched guy. more Joe Rogan than you have, so I mean Joe Where's Rogan. our Jamie? <laughs> Where's Joe our Rogan. Jamie? Jamie. We don't need one. We'll just we need we'll talk out our ass. Okay, so Jonathan, what, what did you what, what did you want to talk about, Jonathan? What did you want to talk about? What you just ring me? Well, yeah, you kept saying add me to the podcast. I thought you wanted to discuss something. Yes. I don't know. I was eating. Like a I'm a actual... Zionist. That's oh, not no, a... We're that's... done. We're done here. We're no, we're done no, here. no, no, no. Do you have right. an actual wheat discussion? Should be, wheat should be legal. Wheat is very beneficial. <laughs> wheat, okay. So this is a common misconception, right? It's not no, it's weed not. that's beneficial. It's, it's, it's not weed that's beneficial. It's CBD. And in modern... 
Huh? No, Wait, THC is THC not. is mentally beneficial. I hear THC, THC is the thing that gives you the high. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. me blowing up. Exactly. Increases but concentration, the, no, no, opens the high up is new not, perspectives to... What do you mean? The high is not the mental benefit, Jonathan. Yes, it is. No, it's beneficial. not. No, it's yes, not, it is. Jonathan. Yes, it is an alternate Jonathan, perspective you can go through. Okay, so this is what we call a no, joke. No, 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 no. It's not a joke. No, 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 no. It's actually a liquid me. Jonathan, being high, being is not high opens up your perspective to many things that you think of. You, okay. you don't know the possibilities until you're high. If you need a drug for concentration, you get it by prescription and it's called No, Adderall. it's not for concentration, it just improves it. It's a side it effect. It. That, that's what for concentration means. It's just, it's not guess where, meant guess for where concentration, that comes from. it just improves it. It comes from the CBD. THC. No. CBD, <laughs> It's literally just Literally the CBD. THC. That's CBD, dude. No. Alright, so yeah. next. <laughs> Sorry, next retard. Literally, <laughs> bro, <laughs> can't refute it. John, have a discussion. CBD, CBD, CBD is the medical part of medical marijuana. And when they say medical marijuana, it's genetically grown to have more CBT. But the CBD. stuff on the street, CBD, sorry. The stuff on the street is genetically grown. That's why it should be legal, CBD. so it's higher quality. Jonathan. This is why it should be legal. No, but. Marijuana has nothing to do with it. If all you need is CBD, you yes, don't it need does. marijuana. Where do you think CBD comes from? But you don't need to legalize for anyone. You can produce CBD. Yes, you do. You have to legalize it, bro. You can produce CBD. You, no, production of CBD through marijuana is different than making it public to smoke for everybody. No, marijuana should be public to smoke. It's just as alcohol is. You marijuana is 10 times more beneficial than alcohol. Well, I mean... Hold on, hold on. You're using the argument of this one's less bad, so let's make them both legal. I still yes. stand by the fact that they should both not be legal or not be. Well, legal. that's not your choice. That's, that's their not choice. your choice either. That's the choice of the person who uses it. If it doesn't affect you, why do you care, bro? It does affect everyone. How? How does it affect? How does it affect? How is someone that? drinking? Wait, which point are you talking about? Alcohol or alcohol? Or... How does anyone using any drug affect you? Well, all the drugs are different. Well, first and foremost. Uh, if you're purchasing drugs, illegal drugs, you're promoting an illegal business, which is not legal. Wait, how does that all. affect you? What are you talking that about? That affects here? the government. That affects everybody. But second of all, if somebody's drinking, they're not like acting like their normal selves. They can they, they can drink and drive, which can kill That's anybody. That's illegal. Wow, Jonathan, isn't it crazy that people when they're drunk don't do legal things? Okay. So so you're relying too much on human responsibility when it's been proven time and time again that so what are you gonna do control time. their responsibility you can control everything they do bro no just not give them the option to be irresponsible if you don't give them the option to be irresponsible how can they be irresponsible so you control so what was that quote you the famous quote you said well i forgot the, about the colombians no. oh, oh i made i made a little graphic because did i show you the graphic no Fuck, hold on let me see was it pinned people I mean, left to their own can you, can you, can you? People will not make the right decisions on their own. Is that what you said, bro? No, no, hold on. I made, I made a quote of it. Hold on. Listen, we should be legal. Um, medical marijuana? No, no we. But CBD? Fine. CBD medically? No, we fine. should be legal. Recreationally. Hold on. <coughs> ah, here we go. Here's the quote. Here's the quote. We will always be on the street no matter what you do. And if you, if you make it legal, the quality will increase. Uh, Nico, could you display this to the stream for a second? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> oh my god. A single death is a tragedy. A million deaths is a statistic. <laughs> if you tell a big enough lie and tell it frequently enough, it will be believed. If you let people make their own decisions, they will make the wrong choice. Authoritarian. I mean, I'm I'm completely this open is... about it. That is what I am. Like that. No, not it's not what America is, bro. So we're talking about what different ideas America. and changes should be made to America. No. And what? Legalization. Authoritarianism. Of weed is not a no. Totalitarian. We're talking, okay. We're talking about legalization. Yes, legalize weed. But okay. Why does no one have a problem with alcohol being legal? They do. Jonathan, remember who has a problem? I don't know who you're talking about. Who, what do you mean? Who are you talking about? Only one person that cares about the alcohol thing. being legal. Everybody had problems. That's why there was a thing called prohibition. Yeah. What year was that? Twenties. Because there was a lot of things in between prohibition and now that didn't allow for it to work properly. Like, for example, people. Uh, uh, what is going on in the background? That's my keys. 
Okay. In the 1920s, the police force... Plus, the... weed is not lethal if you smoke it. Uh, Jonathan, again, you can't use the argument of it's not as bad as this yes, thing. Yes, you can. So you can life. definitely use that argument. That's not Jonathan. They're both bad. One is less bad, and one is also legal, while being more bad. Yes, and... And you're not going to argument... ban alcohol, so... Well, I'm not. That's why... No one can ban alcohol. The government can no, they can't. ban alcohol. What do you mean they can't? That's the, the, it's they never can't gonna be it. removed for anyone, bro. Okay, That's true. If you ban alcohol, it's never gonna no, be removed. Alcohol it's not gonna help anyone is, if you ban alcohol. It will help a lot of people, but who will it help? Will not, who will it help? Come tell me. What, what do you mean? Who will it who help? Will banning you alcohol it help? Illegal. People Everyone will, will get it illegal. illegally. Everyone will get it illegally. Yeah. Just so, like weed. Just like how it happened in prohibition. At that prohibition, case, the mafia true. grew extremely powerful because of. But no, at the time of prohibition, growth. at the time of prohibition, the police force was not nearly as powerful as it is now. Millions in tax revenue. Half of the country didn't even have weed. stable police. And between then and now, there's been so many changes. I'm not at the worst. At, at the worst, like, like a compromise, right? Instead of being um, what completely banned, which I agree with you, Nico, it's never going to happen. It's just too engraved in human culture, it should be heavily regulated, right? It is like, heavily it's... regulated. No, more heavily regulated. How are you going to more? There's an age limit. What else are you going to regulate? What are you talking about? Uh, hold on, I have to be right back. What else are you going to regulate? There's an age limit, bro. This is why you should legalize weed. Um, I agree with you, Jonathan, actually. I think exactly. weed should be legal in general. Flat well, not, not in, uh, there should be zoning policies. I mean, you can't get drunk. But other than that, fully legal. <coughs> yeah, I feel like weed should just be legal. And I feel like mo most drugs should be decriminalized. Because there's no reason to yes, lock somebody heroin. for drug use. Not heroin, though. If somebody's using heroin, they have some major problems. <coughs> and rehabilitation yeah. should help them solve those problems. There's no reason why they should be locked up in jail for that. Now, selling is a different... Smoking weed is not harmful either. Like, who says it's harmful? I don't understand. Why are you going to ban it? Who is it harmful to? No one. Um, he's trying to use, like, kids as an argument, but... You're, but you're it's going it to be... It's kids. illegal to... <laughs> you can't do much to make it illegal. Hello? Well, what did yeah. I How is weed was... harmful? It's... How is a moderate amount of weed... More harmful or harmful at all? What? Who decides what a moderate is? First of all, how are you going to control what moderate? Moderate is? amount of alcohol, gonna, moderate amount of weed. How are you going to control that? What I'm just saying is that is it? What do you mean? Moderate well, amount I mean, is it harm? Jonathan, moderate amount means what? The amount so one to two times don't... like a week. That's amount and frequency are different, Jonathan. You, you can drink every single oh day. Oh my god! A moderate amount of person who uses weed. Uh, Doesn't I smoke do any drugs. Assuming, assuming a fully Nico, what are you doing? <laughs> it's my key. Uh, assuming a, uh, it's not a child, so the person's brain has developed. Weed is less harmful to your body. It's and not harmful. It has it some is more beneficial than harmful. Jonathan. You're still inhaling. More spirit. beneficial than harmful. No, yes. recreational weed has been. I told you. This, 2,000 times. Over the years, it has been genetically modified. Not modified, sorry. The strains that have been picked are more and more leaning towards THC, which does not have the medical benefits you're describing that CBD yes, does. Yes, it does. does not have any of the medical benefits. It has CBD. benefits, and it has no... No, THC no doesn't no. have the THC is of purely CBD. recreational. THC is and how is it harmful? CBD is the medical... Jonathan, inhaling smoke into your lungs daily or weekly is not good to your health. Weekly? Well, you said you said weekly a couple times. I don't, I don't know what, what what is it. What, what was weekly. your moderate? All right, time for some fact checks. Okay, how those. is making it? How is it criminalizing gonna help? Oh no, no 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 no! Hold on hold on! That's not what I said at all. I never said criminalize it. I said legalize it. The you more THC not... is also gonna be more popular. So I don't know who you who you fooling, bro. Again, Jonathan. You're mixing up two different ideas. Criminalizing it and making it illegal are different. 
And I no told said you, what? I told you, that's I what told, criminalized I means. I told you that I understand that it's impossible to make it illegal, and the compromise should be um, to that avoid illegal. No, Jonathan, we've agreed that it's not a possibility, right? So instead, you, it's the compromise is you should um, you should help people who are okay. Uh, were you actually listening to the stream, or were you just spamming and not listening? What stream? <laughs> okay. It's a joke. So, okay. I'm Big just gonna brain. come in here with some facts from Healthline.com. Please do. Um, CBD is used to help with seizures, infl inflammation, pain, psychosis, inflammatory bowel disease, nausea, migraines, depression, anxiety, and more. Sad. Wow. THC, CBD. THC is used. Which to is help in with weed. Wait, can you finish Let what THC is? THC is used to help with conditions such as pain, muscle spasticity, glaucoma, insomnia, low appetite, nausea, and anxiety as well. So, T okay. obviously, this medical part of marijuana is the munchies. better, but THC does have its own uses. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So, I'm sorry. Were most of the were most of the things overlapped? And neither compound is fatal. Neither compound is fatal. Thank you. Yes, the compound, Jonathan, I told you, not the compounds, it's the inhaling smoke into your lungs is what's, what's going to kill you. What? It won't kill you right away. It's the same as cigarettes. Cigarettes don't kill you right cigarettes away. Cigarettes have tobacco. That's, what? Cig it's not yes, the tobacco, but it's that's the carcinogen. It's tar and all the other random stuff they put in there. It's what gets trapped in your tar. lungs, Jonathan. There's no tar. No, tar in uh, cigarettes, uh, Alan. And, yes, I know there's no tar, there's but it's tar still the smoke. There's still things that... Okay, that smoke and... Lungs. Yeah, you know what I mean. Smoke is not pure air. That's not the cause of lung cancer. Lungs over time, over time, Jonathan, having rain. Are you telling me w things like water vapor will make give you lung cancer? No, they won't give you lung cancer, but they will severely damage your lungs. If you're inhaling water vapor, you are going to develop lung problems, Jonathan. You should not be inhaling problems. water. Vapor. All right. When yeah. I type in marijuana side effects, I get the first thing I see is marijuana side effects sexually. Awesome. Alright. Alright, this is on webmd.com. I'll get good to you. I'm just looking for more facts. THC. Yeah. Yes. Pain reliever. Reduces nausea. CBD does eases that. Eases migraines. Reduces anxiety. CBD does, CBD does that. Both do this, according yes, to this chart. Yes, CBD does Both it better. Both do this. But CBD does it better. Yes. And CBD yep. is purely medical. Insomnia. THC. The CBD does separate. all of these things, except it's medical. It's easier to... Uh, except no, sorry, it's, it's medical. It's even easier mean. to... Not medical, sorry. It's more effective. It does all of these things better. And, and, the, the weed on the streets is not, has barely any CBD, CBD in it. It's all That CBD. is not true. Jonathan... And that's yes, also, if, even if it is true, you can tell that's why you should legalize it. So, so marijuana has higher CBD content. Jonathan, what do you mean? medical marijuana has high CBD content. It should be recreational. So you can recreate... recreational. Okay, so recreational can have... is going to have more THC if it's illegal. That is true. That That is, yeah, true. But that's... Jonathan. Who are you arguing with? Okay. Again, I told you that I'm not saying make it illegal. I'm saying, so legalize it. No, I'm not saying. Okay, no, sorry, sorry. I did say make it illegal. I what I meant to say is do not criminalize it. That's the difference. So did, you hear, did you hear? Did you hear earlier when Nico was talking about uh, minimum sentencing laws? No. No. Okay. Nico and I were both in agreement that the minimum sentencing laws are ridiculous. And are you? What is your opinion on that? Somebody for uh, use of drugs gets a minimum sentencing. No, that's why it should be legal. No. What I said was that the drugs should still be legal because they are, you know, drugs that are in some Okay, and whose choice is it to take body. a drug? Is it but, your choice or is it the person taking stop, it? Stop and let me finish. Instead of minimum sentencing laws, it should be uh, mandatory rehabilitation. Because how about no start... laws? People can harm themselves all they want. Okay, Jonathan. Yeah, that's how you progress the society. You have no, that's how you. Want. That's how you develop individual thinking. Individual thinking. Yes, you're not controlling how other people act. 
if someone wants to do something that doesn't harm anyone else, they can do it. Jonathan, you have to understand that the government works for the people and the liberties. People, yes, but the without the people, there Freedom. there's no point for a government, Jonathan. So if the people start killing themselves, what is the government? You're saying the government. First of all, most people aren't going to kill themselves. <laughs> That's you literally just said you're going to let people. Yes, but he's talking about now he's doing anything they want to do. Yeah, I'm, to themselves, which is first of all legal. Yes, and I'm saying that if you're caught using drugs that are illegal, instead of being you know put in jail for it, which I agree is a ridiculous oh, thing. They're your drugs. You're using. Them. You're not affecting anyone else. It's your choice to use them. You're affecting I'm yourself, John. Yeah, exactly. And who's the, who's the responsibility? Yes, you is that yourselves? Yeah. Yes, you can. Um, I'd argue that for a, for a, for a effective, efficient, and positive society, having people walking around who are on <coughs> drugs that destroy their mental state is not good. Also, that's why the streets will smell like shit. Criminalizing Jonathan. them will increase no, those drugs. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm not talking about criminalizing them, Jonathan. 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 Illegal. Even if it's illegal. Them, <laughs> it Even if they're illegal. People are using them. They go to rehab in order to fix their yeah. problem. Because Jonathan, drugs even if they're illegal. Them, Jonathan, decriminalizing them and making them illegal are different. Criminalizing means it's a criminal offense. Illegal means it's not allowed. Jail time. Decriminalizing yes. them means it is something that If it's is illegal and not criminalized, it's still going to be no, very widespread. That just means, no, no, no. <coughs> the consequence is not jail. The consequence yes. should be rehabilitated. Okay, if there's a consequence, it's still going to be widespread. And if it's legal, it's going to be higher quality. Yes, Jonathan. That's the that is of very true. Do not want, Jonathan. Well, wait, wait, wait. Did you say higher quality or wait? What you Much higher say? quality. Also, you could do tax revenue off that's, of that. That's Jonathan, That's one of the again, arguments for you legalizing have to, drugs. Because yes. when you but legalize Michael made drugs, a good exactly. point. They are it's better that you, regulated and attacked. No society walking around high. Well, everyone's not doing to do that. Not How do you know that? If because everyone doesn't outside. do that right now. Does everyone smoke right cigarettes? Right now, while it's illegal. Does everyone drink? Yes. No, no, A lot of no, people drink, no. a lot of people smoke cigarettes. <laughs> and they do it and moderately. No, they do not. Because it's legal. Yes, they Jonathan. do. Okay. Jonathan. Well, I would argue that... I wouldn't argue there are more people who do it moderately than not moderately. Well, Jonathan. Uh, from what cigarettes and alcohol and weed are all drugs. And they all... Yes, and addiction. two of them are more harmful and legal. And they all lead Notice. to addiction. So no, they you don't. Marijuana is not a no, they don't. Marijuana does not, marijuana is not addictive. Addiction. It is a psychological has, addiction. There is no nicotine. Yes, marijuana. Psychological is worse. No, it's not. Marijuana has no nicotine. Psychological is something you need <laughs> somebody physical, else to help no. you with. We physical have. withdrawal symptoms are different than psychological withdrawal no, symptoms. No, no. Physical work. symptoms have physical remedies to them. Like how I was talking about methadone earlier for heroin. The only remedy to a, a physical, I'm not sorry, a psychological problem is rehab, which I is what I was suggesting. Yes, it is easier you to get off logic. marijuana than it is to get off cigarettes and alcohol. Because yes, both of but it's not easier without reactions help. reactions when you try to get off them. Why would you get off marijuana? If you're doing it moderately. I Jonathan, mean, what if somebody... You're assuming might that people are doing it moderately. Which is a lot of people are. Yeah. A lot of people are. I'd argue that it's just a kind of... You should thing. allow people to do it legally and moderately... You should allow those no, people no, no, to do it. The problem with but... saying moderately is that you can't control moderately. Nobody knows what that, that is. That is up to the it. person. If they want to do it moderately, they ha should have the right to do it moderately. But if someone else doesn't do it moderately, moderately, that's their responsibility, not someone else's. You can't punish everyone for someone else doing You're it. You're not punishing them. You're getting them Could, help. I illegal. Whatever. Whatever you want. Jonathan. Illegal. Okay. And so wait a minute. Now. So if someone wants to do it moderately, they get punished? They get to go to rehab? Rehab isn't the punishment, John. Rehab is help. Okay, so if someone's doing it moderately, uh, and e.g. Joe Rogan, you know, you know he that, gets to go to rehab. You know that, you know, using drugs isn't no, just No, you're a telling me if he gets caught thing, doing right? weed, he gets to go to rehab? Yes, because using That's drugs stupid. isn't a normal human behavior. Yes, it... <gasps> Drug use is a normal human Bro. behavior. Bro, Jonathan, are you... Doing drugs moderately should be completely legal. You're telling me a perfectly stable human legal. being has a dependency on drugs? I never said dependency. I never, he, that's yeah, he never said that. dependency that's and wanting to do it is not the same. Yeah. That smoking something regularly is a dependency. You're telling me people that drink alcohol on, on celebrations have a dependency on it? That's not regularly. Moderately. Regularly is that is moderately. Daily. People yes, drink it daily and still do it moderately. Yeah, Jonathan. 
Except when they do it daily, multi- it becomes first daily, then multiple times a day, then they're doing no, it 24 My dad drinks a vodka shot every single day. That and he is... eats it with his dinner. Yeah, okay, it's that's responsible. Jeff, that's responsible. That is yes. moderate. Yeah, but the, there's a difference. So you're telling me he should be he should go to rehab because other people also did it in moderate? No, rehab? because it's not criminalized or illegal, so he's fine. It's illegal. Okay, so uh, now your maybe, argument is that you're gonna track how moderately people are doing no, drugs. John, what are you, you talking about, Jonathan? You don't know alcohol is not illegal. You just right? said you want all drugs to be like this. Yeah, and I told you that this would be an impossibility with alcohol because of okay, how so it's wait, say he, say he does weed once a week. He's gonna go, he's gonna have to go to rehab for other people's actions. For whose actions? For his actions. He does he it moderately to- in, a, in a healthy way. Other people don't do it. So what is his, his verdict? What do you mean his verdict? He what is his verdict? To- he does it once a week. What is his verdict? Then it's, he gets yeah. caught doing it. Because That's rehab isn't retarded. The, rehab isn't that is the most retarded. People. Rehab is a way to help the person. He is doing it in a moderate and healthy way. He should not be. Nothing should affect him. No one should tell me he can't do it if he's doing moderately. And, then and that's the should be argument. You is? punish everyone or you let everyone do it. Then, then somebody, that's what I'm saying, Jonathan. I am punish saying whatever criminal. I don't know. It's not punish. Rehab is not punishment. Rehab is not Rehab consequences. Consequences. Rehab is not a punishment. You know that. Right? Rehab is consequence. And technically, it's kind of a punishment for it doesn't matter really. Jonathan, rehab is not a punishment for someone who does it moderately. It is because they is shit, even though they do it in a healthy way. Yes, but Jonathan, the idea behind it is to get them not to do it. Because if you have people no, walking that's their high, choice. That's not your choice. That's their choice. Jonathan, you're doing this on a one-person scale. If you make it, legal, yeah, it and that's the be, most important because you're affecting this person for someone else. Scale. It will not be a one-person scale. It'll be a many people scale. Whatever the rates you are, you are now, basically not- telling people that do it moderately to go fuck themselves and go to rehab because other people don't do it moderately. That's basically what you're no. saying. Yes, you, don't, you, you don't do it for other people. You do it for yourself. Exactly. So why should you be forced to go to rehab if you do it moderately? Because if they determine what moderately is, that's essentially saying that is you their said, choice. You know, you know what that means. Their so, choice. It's their. Freedom. So you're saying they. You're Liberty. saying they should. Do whatever drug they want, however much they want. No, not every you, drug, but marijuana, drug. yes. You're trying I said whatever, marijuana, no, definitely. I've heard you multiple times say that do whatever you want is the point of liberty. Oh, no, not like heroin, but marijuana, oh, definitely. What's the difference? Okay, well, actually, no, I'm because not going to that. Because, because heroin has a physical no, I, 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 That's why I stopped myself. There's a big difference. Okay. Marijuana, 100%. So are you I saying that... legalizing, that, taxing, and regulating marijuana, yeah. Yes. So wait, so Jonathan, you're saying that if they do it moderately, that they that it's their choice, and who it's completely their choice. No one and should regulate deter- it if they're they doing determine, it moderately. They determine how moderate it is. Yes. So essentially, you're saying they can smoke however much they want, and it's their choice. Yeah. Yes, because most because a lot of people won't do it like that, and they'll do it in a healthy how way. And you're you not going to punish those people. I mean, how do you know that? That would be like because that's what they do. All people who drink for alcoholics. Exactly. That's okay. Would you punish all people who do drunk driving? Okay. We've a esta- Yes. Would you punish you all? Al- no, no, no. Alcohol drinkers for people who do- no, oh, right? No, I thought you said would you same publish thing. all drunk driving? It's dry- literally the same thing. Yes, Jonathan. But same exact example, concept. You're using the example of people drinking uh, for okay, Alan. Correlate. Dr- listen, correlate drunk driving to mm-hmm. unhealthy doses of marijuana, and then correlate health moderate doses of marijuana to normal drinking. Or like moderate okay. drinking. So I'll do the normal moderate drinking first. So normal moderate drinking would be. <laughs> you wouldn't be punish on, all people. On t- no, but the difference between alcohol and weed is that alcohol is an element of every single society's culture. Okay, so say it wasn't. Then it would be a drug just like everything else, Jonathan. It probably wouldn't be legal. Okay. It the only reason legal. prohibition didn't work because it was so deeply into human society. That's why it didn't work. Not because it's alcohol, but because. It is alcohol. Oh, it's because of the individual liberties? No, it's because it's yes. alcohol, and it's been there for literally thousands and thousands of It should of be years. the person's choice what they get to do. And you shouldn't punish it, or... It's not... Uh, oh, you shouldn't force people to do certain things because of other people's actions. Jonathan, so weed. how can you guarantee well, no, no, that once weed. it becomes... Uh, once it becomes... Uh, what's, its, what's its face? Uh, uh, legalized. How can you guarantee... To you that a majority of people will not start doing it. by education, uh, first by, by education, education hiring the quality of weed, 
by educating them to do what? If weed is more legal, that means the government is more involved in it, and they, like alcohol, can but, put out many PSAs sorry, why or whatever. Would you, why I don't would you know. educate people not to do it if it's so perfectly and fine? I never said it's perfectly it fine. It's the person's choice if they want to do it. So then, how, well, how do you know that everybody won't choose it? How do you know that it's the minority that won't choose it? It's the point. It's not my choice. It's their. Yes. So you're saying there's no problem with a majority of American society, or let's let's choose American for now. American society. First of all, it's never going to be the majority. So I don't know how I do you know that? that? How do you know? Because that? The, the majority of people would go drunk and drive. What? No. Can you say that one more time? That sentence. Does Dude, not the make majority sense. of people would drunk drive. Drink and drive. <laughs> no. Uh. Do the majority of drunk people or people? People who drink alcohol. People? Well, no, because not a majority of people drink alcohol. Because people alcohol, alcohol has clear. I'm pretty sure a majority of people drink alcohol. It's uh, no, regularly. Celebr okay, celebrations is an element of culture. That you is can't completely regulate different. this through laws. <laughs> I hope you know this. You can't regulate how moderate someone uses a drug. So it's either completely yes. banned or completely legal, and yes, both and legal. I'm saying that it should be banned, and I the say it consequence should, be legal. should not be criminalized. It should be rehabilitation. Well, that is the opposite of freedom. Of freedom. Okay, but Jonathan, again, the only re the only like reason you've given me that everybody won't start doing it is is that you just want to believe that people are perfect like that. No, I don't care what they drug. do as long as. I can do so, it in a safe way me, and not get punished for it or whatever you so call. So you're telling me there's no problem if a majority of people start smoking weed, if a majority of society is high at any given time? You're saying there's no, no but it's better that? than illegally obtaining it and getting worse quality and also not being able to tax it. Okay, Jonathan. No, 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 no. I'm saying if if it's a minority, if it's illegal, it's always going to be a minority because a majority of people no, are No, it's not. It's citizens. Illegal. It's all. Oh, it's a minority. Uh, no, it is not, bro. I don't think you go. I don't think you go people, to Brooklyn Tech. Uh, six thousand does not represent three hundred twenty-six million. <laughs> I don't. It's a real-world example. It's a what? I don't. Many people smoke weed illegally. Many. Many. People. No, anybody who smokes weed, period, is doing it illegally. If they're smoking medical marijuana, <laughs> that's different. If they're smoking illegal, period. So everybody. Smokes weed is doing it legal. illegal. Okay. Okay. Right? And they're and still doing it. Yes. No one's right? gonna stop it. Because the the punishment for smoking weed now is you go to prison. What does that fix? Nothing. Right? Can you agree with me? No, on that? but people going... still do it. No, but and John, get away with it. Because, okay. If they, they get away with it, but if you legalize it. Yeah, yeah, John, Jonathan. What have you been doing while we were not adding you to the call? Jeez. Okay. What? No, hear me out. Can can we agree? I have a one? friend who. Right no. now, I d are you? If you're about to talk about Jasper, I'm going to remove you from the call. <laughs> I haven't. Does to Jasper still do that? Time. I heard you about Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan is not your friend, but I see what you're getting at. Joe Rogan is ideal example. Very healthy male individual, using the weed to its fullest potential. Five or something. He can kill you in ways you don't even imagine. Joe Rogan is a. What is he? He's, he's a. What is he, Down syndrome? Or I don't know. He's, he looks retarded. No, he can just kill you in many ways. Yes, that's hand. true. It's because he's probably had some sort of physical training. Some sort? You not. mean his entire life surrounded by martial arts? And I don't know. Okay, that's he, he probably not. He doesn't do that because of weed. He does that because of his training in martial yeah, arts. Yeah, and it means he's healthy, and he also does weed, which means he's, he's a healthy, healthy person that does. Their life training. That's kind yeah, of but he also does weed, healthy. which means you can be healthy and do weed at the same time. You're correlating two completely different things. Just no, okay. I'm not. Jonathan, I'm saying that there is being, a being healthy and smoking weed. Are yeah, I am correlating. I'm not causing. It's not causation. It's correlation. Yeah. So if it's not causation, it's just correlation. It's, it's yeah, correlation is important because you can do both at the same time. Jonathan, correlation is equivalent to coincidence, especially since it's only one. It person is not a coincidence, bro. Jonathan, hey, correlation. Man. A very large chunk of people in the United States have tried marijuana once. Yes, and are, are is it a very large chunk of people that are currently using it? Um, a lot of people are using it. Ages 18 to 25, and um, this is from 2017. 22% of people ages... That's 20, a minority to me. 18 to 25. 22% is a minority to you? Of 80? Yes. Okay, I don't know what sorry, you're on, bro, but... Uh, all right. 
I don't know how 22%, 22 of people is a minority. 22% of 100% is a minority. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. What, I don't what, think can you, you read that full? I don't, can I don't think so. Big, can you read that full fact, 22% of 18 to 25-year-olds have used marijuana in the past month. Oh, that's... No, no, no. That's, that's different. Um, Tried in past, and... In the past year, um, eight, tw- um, 18 to 25, 35%. In their lifetime, 18 to 25 is 52.7 percent. I'm sorry. What did you say? In the past they use year, it... eight, ages yeah. 18 to 25, 35 percent of of people or respondents to the survey have used marijuana. In their entire in at life... least once. Um. Yeah. Or or cons. Okay. Okay. That's. Um. In their lifetime, 52.7 percent of 18 to 25 year olds have used marijuana in their lifetime. Okay, but that could mean once or that's like that's about as good as nothing is what essentially that is. 47.5% of ages 26 or older have used marijuana in their lifetime. Okay, again, of ages what older? Um, 26 or older. Okay, well that, that again, that could be once and it, it could be like their yes. first eight years, 20, turning it's really 21. They for were a doing, while, guy. Yeah. Meaning. So... That that's Meaning, theoretically about half the country could be could have at one point half the country. By the way, of those surveyed, that does not mean ha- you know that doesn't mean half the country. That means half of the people of the those who were surveyed. They could have surveyed two thousand people. You don't know that. Yes, I know. I know oh that's what God. a survey is. That's what a poll is. Yeah. Legal yeah. weed. It's not listing the freaking plus or minus, but. For not mm-hmm. reason, some reason, I'm listening to plus minus of the survey. But... Legal weed more beneficial than illegal weed. Yeah, not more Jeff, you still haven't answer, answered my question. Why it's more what beneficial? Is... Because you get no. higher quality weed if it's more beneficial, and you can tax it. You're not. You're answering a question that I did not ask. What if a majority question. of society begins walking around high? What if? So... Because you can't say it's not going to happen. Does the majority so. alcohol is equal? Does the majority of society go around drunk? Because alcohol, again, we both agree that weed does not have as many bad effects as alcohol, and some of the things that keep people away from alcohol are those bad effects. So, if according to your claims, there what? are, Jonathan, some people, majority of people don't drink alcohol. That's because not true. They, no, I say a majority of people who do not drink alcohol. You're not listening to me. Of who do not drink it, either drink it because they don't like it, or because they stay away from it because of the health problems, right? Can you agree with me on that? Okay. So if which is also if, a really small amount of people, but okay. So, uh, what do you mean a small amount of people? What a are very what, small what are amount of people? What are the other reasons alcohol. not to drink? No, I'm talking about regularly, quote moderately, not on celebration. Celebration is an element of culture, Jonathan. Culture is different. That's still alcohol, and that still means they enjoy doing it. I mean, I, I drink wine for Rosh Hashanah. That does not mean I enjoy it. Okay, people drink, drink champagne and vodka and whatever. Other on New Year's Eve. Booms. That's nothing. Those who do it regularly is different from those who do it for cultural reasons, okay? Okay, you can get uh, high, drunk with 10 shots of vodka for cultural reasons so if you're on New Year's. I don't know what you're talking about. That's one time one time a year. That's And on a, on a holiday that's been in humanity for, you know, hundreds of... Of years, you're still drunk. Yes, again, Jonathan. But the, the separation between doing it once a year. Or oh, it's a just it's cultural. Year. That's why it's all legal. Oh, so Jonathan, such a great argument. That's the only problem. Diminishes diminishes system. all negative side effects. What? No, that's not a negative side effect, Jonathan. That's the problem with alcohol. It's not that it's not bad. It's not that there aren't other problems. With it. It's that people refuse any change because it's been in our culture for so long. Yeah, and if that change is refused, then why not have weed at because the same Because weed status? has not been in our culture for so long. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. How? how yes, it compared has. Compared to alcohol, it's nothing. Just because it's not used in celebration doesn't mean it's not in culture. That's the point, Jonathan. It's used in recreation, not celebration. Okay, correct? that still means it's very popular and a yes. very so long-term if thing. It is very popular and used for effective recreation and not, not a health risk, and it's legal... Why wouldn't a majority of people do it? They probably will. Moderately. 
So if people determine how much, however they want, if people determine what moderate means, they can smoke whenever they want, how much ever they want. Yeah. And you're saying a majority of people might find it reasonable to do that. And if there's nothing stopping them, you're saying there's no problem with the majority of society running around high, not running around. Why would the majority of society high? given the chance to run around high? Not run around. They're still normal people and they still have jobs and they still have lives. But now they well, just I have mean, this well, added I mean, legal I'm sorry, thing. You don't, you don't know that. They could. Yes, they I could, do. They choose what moderate. The majority of people in America are employed and do have lives. For now, okay. But then, okay. Jonathan, so you're just, okay, I'm just gonna intervene here. That's that's not yeah. correct. Wait. You guys it's, it's not a majority. Majority of people are. Uh, that's not true. So that means. No, wait, are employed? Yeah, no, are employed? Yes, are employed? Yes, but have the rest of the stuff you said is not. True. A life. <laughs> Yes, of course. That's not true. What does that mean? What do you, what do you call uh, a will that? That means the majority live? of people who have, well, I mean, we're not going to get into statistics with depression and suicide, Jonathan, but a majority of people who have jobs don't also have happy family and happy life. They probably I never said jobs. happy. They said important things they have to do in their life. Yeah, okay, Jonathan, I'm pretty sure that a. They a, have responsibilities, Alan. That's uh, what I'm trying to say. Okay, they have responsibilities. Not everybody has responsibilities. Not everybody yes, has Yes, almost everyone has responsibilities. They have. And not everybody thinks looking after themselves is a responsibility either, John. Most people do. How do you know that? Because most everybody? people do. No, because you're guessing what is inside. No, your I'm own not. Head most people do, else. Alan. It's not a guess. Yes, except when most people start walking around high thinking everything's okay, they're not going to have that. Okay. Take an example of any state that has legalized weed or take an example of Canada. Is everyone walking around high? I don't Canada think so, Alan. Fully legalized weed? Yeah. Yes. Wait, which state? Which state? Which state? Um, Hold on. Can, well, can, I know can, uh, California, um, Washington State, DC. So basically, your point California is completely California. refuted. Okay, no, we haven't looked at any of the information. You've just told me to look at Majority it. Majority of people are not high in California. You can. Let's I see. Can, let's see the remember. laws for weed in California. <laughs> it's legal. It's legal. So uh, that that could like that can mean a lot of things. That can mean literally anything, John. Oh, Nico's heard. Yeah. Um. First, who are 21 years or older are able to possess 28.5 grams, 8 grams of marijuana concentrate. So there's hard limits on both of them, by the way. Okay. Wow. Almost every legal legal alcohol has restrictions. Well. Uh, you can possess as much as you want. You can possess and drink as much as you want of legal alcohol, John. You know that, right? <laughs> You can you literally can have a room that's an aquarium of, al of, of alcohol and nobody will stop. Yes, but you can't drive on it. You can't operate things on it. So? Yes. Yeah, but that's what the negative actually, outcomes of alcohol come on society, not doing it inside your house. You're bringing up a completely different point. I'm talking about possession, Jonathan. And you were also talking about possession. What do you mean? I, I just list, I just told you that the, f the first thing about the Are California Are you not talking about the harm of using it as a whole in society? I didn't say harm. I said hard limit on a possession and use. First of all, you didn't even mention. You were talking about people do however much they want. In California, there is a hard limit. And it's, what, like 30 grams? That's nothing. Well, compared to how much Joe Rogan smokes. It's, it's not even 30 grams. It's 30, <laughs> 30 grams of flour and 8 grams of concentrate. So the concentrated stuff you're talking about on the street... The good shit, that's that's a small limit, Jonathan. Okay, first of all. And if you want to grow your grow your own thing, you can only have six plants. Okay. Uh, so it's still uh, legal. Yes, but it's legal and limited. It's not anybody who does, does however much they want, which is what you were saying. If anybody still, wants more... Still agree with it. Okay. Under, uh, you need a government, okay, government ID, we're going to assume everybody has that. As of other states, hold on. several restrictions on consumption, right? Smoking in, uh, you must, okay. Oh, also, there are places you can't smoke, so you can't. I don't think that's fine. I mean, yeah. So zoning is also, fine. Has, but also something else you said. People can't just zoning do is a pretty given thing. Ah, you cannot consume. So, okay. People can't do it anywhere. So you can't do it in public, period. Uh, you can't do it where smoking isn't allowed at all. 
You wow. can't do it within a thousand feet of a school, youth center, daycare, or anywhere where there are children present and combined with a wow. private oh, yeah. residence. So if you are within a thousand feet of a private residence with children inside, you can't smoke either. Wow, isn't that cool? Isn't yes, that a fun can. limiting factor? It's literally California law. Within a thousand feet what? of a school, youth center, or daycare center where children are present. Do you know what a thousand feet is, Alan? That's pretty. If it's in your neighborhood, it's like a block. No. Wait, yeah. No. Like, Wait, a thousand feet, like what? Three hundred yards? No, that's that's. Unless you live next to a school, I think you're fine, Owen. Uh, you don't live nearby any area with. You don't live by any youth centers, daycares, or schools. I think there are farther than a thousand feet, if I'm not sure. Okay. You are able to consume in private residences. Okay, that's fair. Accessory structure located on ground. Okay, that's fine. Outdoors and private. Driving under the influence. Oh, driving under marijuana, also people can't just do whatever they want, Jonathan. You can't drive under it. Just something that you... No oh, shit. Oh, no shit, until you, you were, like, five minutes ago, you were saying people can do whatever they want. Weed has no effect on your driving. No, they can down. smoke it if they want. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's legal to smoke it. Be clear, any instance of driving under the influence of marijuana is deemed unlawful. Uh, okay, so you will get, you would get DUI for a that. A thousand feet is, like, a one and a half blocks. <laughs> Hold on. Well, California and New York are different, so maybe it may be something. Okay. Okay. Uh, transporting marijuana. Uh, you can't have. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Well, well, transporting is something we're not gonna because that's irrelevant. It's the same laws as before. Uh, state lines does not matter. Cultivation. We already read this. So these are very strict regulations, Jonathan, compared to the do whatever you want, moderate however you want thing you were saying. These are very strict. I said legal, and you can do it if you, you want. You said moderate however you want. You said people decide what moderate is, and they can smoke as much as they want. <coughs> That's what you said. If someone can accumulate weed and smoke it however much you want, you what? No, they. If there's can't. a limit to the amount you can buy. You can just accumulate it. No, you can't. Possession of. Possession of. What do you mean possession of? How is someone going to regulate your possession of something? Uh, They're going to do inspection tax. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't work for the California. I don't work for California. I'm assuming they would, you know, possession. So like if you walk around in public, public. By the way. Yeah. They're zoning it. Real laws. So if you have exactly twenty-eight point five grams on you in public, you know, I think that's that raises a little bit of. You're all Gucci. Then. Yeah, you, you're walking around with your Gucci sweater, your 28 grams of weed in your pocket, your scale. So legal. You know. <coughs> and you can't just cultivate it. There's a limit on how many plants you can have. Yes. Who is really checking? Who is really checking? Well, yes. I mean, first of all, if you get caught with a large amount, you're going to get checked. If you get caught with... I'm sure they check people who get caught with, like, even a little bit over the limit. How? Because it, who? What when are you talking you, about? If the police see you, I'm sure they, they... It's perfectly reasonable for them to ask how much you have on you. and I'm So there's sure. random checks of how much weed you have on you by the California police? I, yes, I don't think you're Jonathan? comprehending what you're saying. They, they have the right to check anybody who is carrying it openly. And that's why you don't do it in public areas. That's why it's not allowed in public areas. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so if it's not allowed in public areas, what, what are you talking about? I'm not. Yeah, I didn't bring, I didn't bring up the public areas. areas. Yeah, drinking is not allowed in public I didn't bring up public areas. I don't know who did it. <coughs> drinking is not allowed in public areas? No. No. no that law's broken alcohol. every time. What? That law's broken every single day. When have you seen some... Well, okay. People, people think that the... the I have not seen somebody drinking alcohol. Yes, you have. You just didn't know it. Because they have the brown bag over it. That's like more obvious than that, Jonathan. I would have noticed that. I've not seen it. Well, that. clearly you didn't. No, I've seen it on a homeless dude before. You're right. <laughs> okay, now let's go to camp. And also fill vodka with the Poland Spring water bottle and you could be cool. Okay, that's that's true, yeah. And the regulations. But, uh, I think so. Let's just say it, they're not very hard regulations. Let's. I think, the regulation, regulations, so I think the regulation is more applied. They're to not as strict as bottle. you think they are. That's true, that's true. I think if somebody sees you with the bottle, it's going to be a bigger problem than somebody thinks. Oh my god, does he have vodka on the screen bottle? <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure if you if you carry around. The, the <laughs> as you know, true slobs beer. never have water on them. Who? True slobs never have water. Oh, true slobs. I thought you said Jiroslav. <laughs> 
And Jerislo. Anyway. Jerislo never has one. So legal weed. <sighs> Re. I think Alan is in support of legal weed. No, no, no. <laughs> you yes. said yes, we cannabis. <laughs> well, what? Do, okay, what, what would you about this? <laughs> what would you recommend? Verdict: weed legal. No, 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 no. Verdict: compromise, heavily regulated. Loose yeah. regulations, even though it's going to be heavily regulated. Fine. Heavy official regulations, loose realistic regulations. Fair enough. So reality. There you go. We've arrived at our end. So basically, legal weed. <laughs> No, not completely legal. It's called legal weed. That's legal. It's called regulated. regulated. Okay, yeah, legal but regulated. There you go. Opinion on that cause. So legal weed no. and regulated marijuana. Oh yeah, we can. Ah, oh, my favorite thing to do: take the industry out of the private hands and put it into the hands of the government. So fun, so simple. Legalized. You can still have private industry. You can still have private selling of weed. It just actually. Has yeah, Jonathan, one thing you didn't mention is the regulate. I think if the government regulates it, it's, it's a completely different ballgame. Like a completely they different do. The cover Huh? No, 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 I mean, like, to your I don't argument... Th I think you should be able to do whatever you want, but... I, don't get... yeah. I, would, I would be more open <laughs> to this legalization if it was government-regulated. Like, amounts is. of THC. No, no, but like he said in... Is well, it there's obviously there's going to be private advertising of like, oh, we have higher CBD or whatever, buy our mm -hmm. weed. But there should be limits. And oh my god, they should try really That's hard That's called not capitalism. To do... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I know what your capitalism is, I agree with you there. <coughs> so legal weed. Okay. All right. So, Nico, I, I think both of us really want a different topic, so come on. Yes. All right then. Which is the most interesting topic? That was something. Jonathan, goodbye. All right then. It's time for uh, Jerry, I guess. Uh, well, does Jerry want to? Uh, I'm not even sure if he's still here. Let's see. Hold well, on. Let me see if he's still watching. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eric, Jonathan, me, you. Yeah, and they're not in the call. I think Jerry left. Jerry left. Jerry left. Jerry's waiting, bro. Oh, is he actually? If he wants, he can join. Jerry's gotta be in this economics major. Wait, who even is Jerry? Leon, that's Leon. Oh, Polish is a stupid anime. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. My profile picture really symbolizes a weed smoker. Yes, we can. Yours? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a method. What are you talking about? That's a coomer. <laughs> that's a coomer. Isn't that the inner <laughs> image of the, the video of the dude jacking off into the camera? Yeah, he's a coomer. It's like, I'm, I'm getting messed. Eric keeps telling me Toto. Why are you not <laughs> Toto? Okay, at. <laughs> Okay, so Jerry's not responding, so let's just add it to John earlier. Who is the Dusty Busty? That's Eric. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I mean it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, can we talk about? I can talk about different topics. Okay, that's a different topic. Okay, Jonathan. What's your opinion on death? Death or death? Death. <coughs> death is <coughs> inevitable. Wait, wait, wait. D E A T H. Yes. Death is gonna happen sorry, to every single it? person on the ever on the planet who ever lived. Yes, that's true. Guys. Oh my God, guys! Oxygen is killing people. Every single person who breathes oxygen dies. This <laughs> can't be coincidence. It's correlation, so it must be fact, John. Exactly. However. Oh, However, <laughs> did the sarcasm hit you as soon as you were about to make a point? <laughs> I still have we. I, I I love how we still have the fire trump over here. What about gun control? Oh, da, oh, ooh. Well, you see, you see. Mom, gun control. Mom. So Second Amendment or no Second Amendment? Uh, I mean, it's there. Universal you can't deny it. Universal background check. Ah, uh, yeah, background check. Like checks, there is already. No, but like, no, 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 no. Background checks are not as, like, background checkers as you think they're. It in is. Some states, you, you still need to pass a hard background check. You can just buy check. a gun without even having to go to a real person. You can that is not it. true. Unless it's Louisiana, legal, that is not can, legal. In Louisiana, you can legally just buy a gun off no. online. No check. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Unless you have a license, you can't. Nope, no license needed. That is you can complete buy bullshit. Online. Complete bullshit. 
No bullshit. Unless you can show me this, it's complete bullshit. No, but I'll look yeah. it up. I'm also gonna look it up. <laughs> to buy I a gun legally in America, you need to get a background check and a license. Open carry of firearms in Louisiana is permitted without a permit. As long as the user is uh, is at least 17 years of age and legally able to possess a firearm under state and federal There you go. How Which to buy a gun online. Which Jones. means they passed the background check. No, no, no. How to, how to buy a gun online. You ready for the three simple steps? You ready? Which is Step illegal. One. No. Legal. Yes. Legal. How to legally quote. buy a gun online. Yo, I have a quote. <laughs> there is no gun permit required to purchase a firearm in the state. Or is a gun license mandatory? Wait, which state? Which state? Which state? Which state? Louisiana. Wow, Jello, let me read you the three easy steps to legally purchase a firearm in Louisiana. You ready? Step one: shop. This means find the firearm, add it to cart. Is that difficult? No. The only things is this: is the gun legal? And y yes, it, it would be legal. Like it's not an assault rifle, so you should be fine. Step two: check out. Choose and contact a local dealer. So just anybody who's selling the guns, and then enter your payment info. Step three, transfer. Uh, take ownership of firearms from your local FFL. This Which part, means you have to go through a check at that place no, to no, get no, the no, gun. No. This part, background check will be done at your local FFL, right? Yes. That doesn't happen in Louisiana. You don't do a background check. just read it. How? No, what? This is how to buy a gun online. This is just online. Louisiana says you don't need a gun permit. You just wait, need a background is, this, check. Did, wait, did I say in Louisiana? No, this is just in general. That's and, in, so you and, still need to pass a background check. All right. No, and then Nico just told the same you. As anything else. Also, Nico just told you that in Louisiana there is no background check. So there is. He said there's no permit. There is a background check. There's. Uh, can you reread the quote? Can you reread the quote, please? Okay then. There is no gun permit required to purchase a firearm in the state, nor is a gun license mandatory to detail ownership. I don't think I heard that. Registration of gu long guns or handguns is also not required under Louisiana law. <clears throat> Does Louisiana require a background check to buy a gun? No. Federal law requires yes. federally licensed firearms dealers to initiate an FBI background check. States have the option of conducting their own background checks using state as well as federal records, but Louisiana has opted not to do so. Private sellers in Louisiana are not required to do any background check. Wow. Isn't it crazy that if you're buying a gun from somebody who doesn't care to do a background check, you won't have to get a background check? Isn't that How crazy? How is that legal? That's not supposed to be legal. Because the state of Louisiana has opted out of government background checks, and they're not enforcing How do you opt out checks. of that? Because, uh, because it's the, it, the state has the right to choose, and the state has chosen not to do that. And the state has also chosen not to make private sellers do that. Um, so I can go in next year and buy a gun myself? Yes. In Louisiana? In Louisiana, yes. Can I move that gun outside of Louisiana? Well, not legally, Probably not. But you could. Okay, so it's not legal to it's move it outside. Legal. Okay, that's okay. Is that it? So fix, so gun solution to America fix Louisiana walls. <coughs> Alright, I'm back. Sorry, right. what happened? What happened? What happened? Well, apparently you can't move it outside of Louisiana legally if you oh, get it from so, there like so that. Oh, so that's cool. All you, all, the only place no, you so is a solution to old gun control in America to fix Louisiana's laws? Uh, no, make, no, that's just... Make sure... <coughs> Everyone. Because I'm pretty sure in every other state, we, it's, we just need to have one example. Topic. Hold on, hold on. Uh, U.S. gun laws by state. Okay, here we go. Gun laws by state. So let's just take uh, Alabama. Okay, uh, state permit wow, required. Wow, completely random example. <laughs> well, okay, it's the first one. Which one do you want? Pick any state. Any state. South Dakota. South Dakota? South. Well known. Oh, South Dakota. <coughs> South Dakota. Yeah, uh, so... Oh, okay, okay. Can we talk about DMT? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this, Jack, you ready? South Dakota. Uh, so handguns and long guns, let's just talk about handguns. The, the answers for both of these are the same. Um, so... 
hand uh, so the guns um state permit for purchase no registration no license no permit for concealed carry no permit for open carry no state preemption of local restriction yes that means you can't just like you know get an illegal gun that's that's what that means or you can't you know just follow the gun laws right assault weapon law no because they're not assault weapon magazine capacity restriction no you can attach a drum mag to your pistol NFA weapons restricted? No. Background checks required for private sales? No. This is South Dakota. You pick the state at random, and it turns out that none of this is required. Pick another state at random, Jonathan. Let's go. So background checks are not required? So in, in South Dakota, as long as I mean, like, you can just go in there, and if you look not suspicious enough, they'll just give it to you, right? They don't require a background check. It's not required. So you can from from seeing a gun online, you can just or just in person, you can you buy still it. Can no questions asked. Take it out of the South Dakota. Well, I mean, yes, you can. No, you, you can. can take, you, you can cannot do it legally out. outside of South Dakota. Okay, if you okay, hold on, let me check. You buy a fire. Yo, deadass, I'm gonna get put on some watch list. In one state, can you move it? Gun transfer laws. Uh. Verdict. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so the way it works with gun transfer laws, it's the only way to get it across state lines is um, if you have to return the gun to your dealer and the dealer must, the dealer who has a license is responsible for transporting the gun to the other dealer in the other state where you can go pick it up. So you can get it across state lines. For example, if you're going from state to state that don't have background checks, you're fine. Okay. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's why we need a universal federal that background is kind but once you have the background check, then what? Uh, then That's you have it? a background check. What? Yeah. Is that it? You, well, I mean, what? How? How would you get past a federal background check? Like what? You get past the check. <laughs> you become yeah. crazy, and you shoot people. That's yeah, that's a, that's another problem, federal, right? That's why you would also ban assault weapons so that you aren't don't have. Yeah. You can shoot people weapons. without assault weapons. That that I'm is pretty true. Sure that's a bit much. Yeah. Caused by assault weapons. No, 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 no. No! It costs with any weapon, period. A shotgun does more damage than a pistol. And a they're both legal. cannot kill as many people as an assault rifle. Yes, it can! Can I kill as many, but it can kill a lot? Yeah, it can. It can. Okay, yes. when you're talking about as many here, the number you're aiming for is zero, and you. Yes. Is zero possible when you have gun rights? No. Gun rights? Gun control? No, Wait, you when you have no. Zero is Wait, possible what? when you have guns banned, but we're, since we have the Second Amendment, you can't do that. You know what else is possible when you have guns banned? What? He's not Scott. Uh, the people have a concern. I think the it's self-explanatory. The people. <coughs> the reason we have the Second Amendment is because um, without guns, uh, corrupt government can do whatever they want, and the rationale is that if you have your own protection, you can rise up against the tyrannical government the same way we did against the British. Yes, and what Russia now. did, That's and took away everyone's guns. Well regulated militia. So no one can oppose. So if you try to oppose the government, the government will shoot you with bigger guns than you have. I mean, yeah. I mean, that is I mean, true. Like, realistically speaking, if the government suddenly went rogue, they have not only better guns, but better guns. And they've made the good guns. You're still safer having guns that you can use. No, properly. you're just gonna live for a little bit longer than the government decides to start. <coughs> I mean, think about it this way, right? The well, the population is like three, what, three twenty, three, three hundred twenty something mili million. Military, what, one million? You know that there's there's more guns than there are. Guns. Okay, so. So it's very possible for every single person to be armed. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's a lot harder to take over than. No one has guns. Venezuela. 
Oh my god, don't get me started on this. So can we do free college? Free college. Uh, we, yes. can, we, we had this discussion already. Free Not college. with Nico. Yes. Nico makes it more interesting. Are we still on a podcast? Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh, wow, they. Mm-hmm. Free college. Uh-huh. Yes. There you go. Well, I, I don't know about. <coughs> I'm still uh, opinionless, but I know Alan some had, had some radical ideas. Radical ideas? I mean, most of my ideas involve taking out the private and putting it into government hands. But, uh, no, no, I think what the solution I came up with, or the idea that I came up with was, um, or that I settled on was, uh, give me a second to remember it. So, Nico, why did you write impeachment with such weird ass slips? So, so that I wouldn't get copyright strike or t- mm-hmm. demonetized. Yes, and yet you put healthcare there. Okay, sorry. The idea I came up with was I believe um, we have <coughs> private universities, still private universities. Always going to be paid. That are going to be paid at reduced price, and the way they get the reduced um. price, the government can, uh, I think before I said the government can incentivize reduced price. Uh, not reduced price, sorry. The university's price. Uh, hold on, hold on. There. I'm, I'm mixing myself up here. Give me a second. To go. I don't <laughs> like big government. I love big government. Okay, so Wait, the, I remember last big year part... that Alan told me he was like some fucking fascist dude. Yeah, no, yeah. Alan no, definitely no. changes views. Definitely. No, no. Very no. noticeable. Hold on, hold on. I never <laughs> said. Right-wing populist and fascist are different. These are completely different things. I, one of them is more white supremacist and one of them is more big government. I'm more, I'm less white. I do not, not a white supremacist. Though. So you put your trust in government? No, I put my trust in effective actions. decisions. No, I put my trust in effective decisions. By and a effective big government that has the right to make any decision government. they want. No, no, no. I put my trust in a government if that you put makes... put too, con- too much control to a government, it's not good. Yeah, that's also why, I, if you were paying attention to the stream, um, I spoke to Nico about how not only should there be consequences for corruption, they should be, like, not... I don't know, what, what was the thing we said on? Who's going to impose those consequences if the government is corrupt, uh, Alan? Very the curious. Enti- oh, okay, okay. Well, I think you're thinking of the entire mm, maybe an unarmed militia. No, I think I think what you're thinking of is in the entire government at once just becoming corrupt. No, if you give time. more and more power to a government, they control yeah, no, more that's what and I'm more. Saying. You you don't. Okay. It's not going to be you one. Make, uh, it's not going to be one official saying, that's corrupt all of a sudden. That's what I'm saying. Can... It's not. It's less of a powerful government and more effective decisions. So no, it's of... more of powerful government, uh, greater responsibility in government. Greater control of government, greater that ability make, to screw up things that make by having more government. effective and radical decisions. No, that's completely up to a government. Yeah, and more likely than not, communism. They're not communism good is an economic. They're not policy, good decisions. Not a, not a communism is communism. A, in almost every way, it includes big government. Yes, that's that's because you one need part. someone to regulate all that the shit that's going on. Ben Shapiro, I hear, is freaking annoying. The difference, the Me? difference, yes, you. The difference between Bro, I haven't listened to Ben Shapiro in like. Yeah, oh, Jonathan right. takes his idea instead of taking his ideas from Ben Shapiro, he takes his ideas from Joe Rogan now. I do. Big well, Joe Rogan is a, does not a pretty big centrist, guy. but. Big government is not communism. Big government is you know what big government. No, but is? communism big needs big government. That's no, I'm just saying that no, communism needs big government. It's just an example. Yeah, a lot of That's things need big government. Communism is not true. What else needs big government? Have anarcho-communism, but whatever. What else needs yeah, big anarcho- government? Literally any other system that has different... Big government means big government. <laughs> communism is determined by big government. Plus right so- now, we don't have that big of a government. Yeah, no, our government's pretty large. No, well, compared, compared, compared to, to other what, historic examples... What? Compared Historic to other industrialized of, countries, yes, like maybe North small, Korea, that's why our maybe like yeah, Venezuela, objectively worse in a lot of areas than other countries. <coughs> our country is objectively worse than a lot of other countries in a lot of areas because of our of how like, the government doesn't 
do things that it should. <coughs> like print. healthcare, where we have yeah, healthcare, healthcare is the and big example of that. than other countries because the government doesn't do its job. Education <laughs> is a lot worse in our country compared to other countries. No, it's not. Do it stop because the government doesn't do its education job. Yes, is it not is. Worse yes, it is. Education is worse than some European countries. It's not the <laughs> it, worst, but it's America not as, as insanely good industrialized education. Industrialized countries, basically talking about Europe. Yeah, industrialized countries, John. No, Europe. still insanely are you good education is in America. American education, the Ameri He's American not. education system is better than the Japanese uh, um, education. John, remember, remember, one anecdotal example is what? not. Are you talking about Asian culture example. versus a the school system? Industrialized of industrialized what of industrialized. Are you arguing that? German schools are worse than American schools. Yes, yes, they are. German is not better. Sure. Canadian schools Nordic. are also significantly worse. No, Canadians are worse. The Germans are The inland Europeans are definitely worse. It's the outer ones. It's the, the <coughs> Scandinavian countries. It's the Japanese, South Korea. They have the good schools. Those are just school systems. They're not... Yes. That's the whole <laughs> point, Jonathan. That's, that's... Except the school system is controlled by A the way government. of teaching is not involved with government... A big There's government. literally not, an that's entire completely department different. of yeah. education, Jonathan. Literally is. It's called Department of Education. A way of teaching is... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Schools can change the you way know, they teach everything. without affecting a political compass. I don't know. What, what are you talking about? What are you... Why... What is this political compass? We're just talking about government. No, right? schools can change the way they teach people without leading in a certain No, direction. they have to they follow a do. curriculum. Yeah, the but curriculum. they can change that curriculum no, without no, affecting can't. anything else. No, no they, they can't. can't the curriculum no, is by can't. the government. They can't. They have a minimum yes, curriculum, can. and they have to teach all of it. The way things are taught. Well, Jonathan, can be changed. This is, this is a case of the journey is less important than the destination, and you can't change the destination. What is destination? Jonathan, how I'm just saying the methods people are taught. That's literally all no. I'm saying. Method is, method, method is just on teacher. Teacher, it doesn't matter how you're taught or measured, right? No, that's not true. Yes, Jonathan. The if way you're, you're taught, taught is incredibly important. Yes, but the difference, the government has no effect on, like, uh, how you're taught. That's yes, affected only yes, by the person who teaches. No, that's not true. How does the government affect how you're taught? Curriculums, common core. But that's different. That's what you're taught. You have to be taught a certain way to prepare for Common Core. You have to be taught a certain yes, thing. Yes, you do. The teachers are given a curriculum, and they have to make all the lesson plans by themselves. And they do it somehow almost exactly the same as every other teacher. Coincidence? Yes, yes because they have the same curriculum. No, it's not a coincidence. They... Yes, it is. They it's, completely cor they it's a complete correlation. No, it's, it's coincidence. To meet those standards, they need to do it in a certain way. Yes, and it just so happens that the easiest no, way, no, it doesn't just so happen. Everyone does it in a certain yes, way because that's the way it's supposed to be done. Everybody does it in a different way. No, they don't. Yeah, Jonathan. Yes, they do. No, they just, don't. Jonathan, what is your experience with this? What? Twelve. You have homework. You have tests. You have notes. You have to take down. You study for a test, and you do your homework. And literally, that's it. Uh, no. Everything you just said is completely wrong. Not no, it is not. Tell me, every single teacher does that. Nope. Tell me one the teacher doesn't do that. Finance major does not have any homework. Period. That is they do not joke. take notes. Period. That's it. That's they do not have it. tests. Period. They have. They okay, have. I don't know if you're trying statements. to be funny, but they do I'm have not. all that stuff. You can ask Jerry. They do not have homework. Yes, they do. No, they just they have a little not. homework because it's a different yeah. type of class, but they still have the same fucking structure. They have a curriculum. They're not taught in a, a, they're not taught in a different way, Alan. They are taught different things, and how they're taught depends on their teacher. The structure of education is the same exact in every single classroom. No. Yes, the it is. Principles of education are the same thing in every classroom. How you're taught is different by teacher. No, no, it's not. Yes. Tests, yes. homework, notes. That's the pretty much it. That's the principles that's, of. That's, that's the principles. You know it's Jonathan. the structure of teaching. It's not the actual content. Jonathan, structure. Okay, you're just using the word structure to mean. Yeah, principles. because it's the way you're taught. Jonathan, same thing. You're using the wrong word. It's principle. And the teacher the decides how they teach. content. No, that's curriculum. Okay, so? So you just agree? The teacher, the only thing that is, okay, the thing that the government decides is what you're taught. That's it. 
Yes, they but the way to the meet those standards no, and what you're taught is literally no, the same exact structure of teaching. That's called teachers are lazy and they pick the easiest No, it's, it's called being a... It's called having to do a certain thing to meet the standards. Mm. John, and the same exact... <coughs> there is no regulation that says you have was to Was Finland that has a completely that. different system of education? Finland doesn't actually give homework. and Their teachers don't really give homework. Yeah, it's a different structure. You know they learn the same math, right? They don't yes, learn like an arbitrary math system. Math. Yeah, you, you know, know okay, Jonathan. Yeah, you know but they teach it countries... in a completely different way. That's the point. No, Jonathan. They teach it in different rates. <laughs> ways. Rates. Ways. It's ways, no. Alan. They Orders, teach it in completely tests, different ways. Rates. They don't have those things. They don't have homework. They have collaborative learning. Yes, they have. They tests. don't have competition they have in tests. Hours. I rather have longer hours than be in a shitty system. That's why Finland's education is better, because they have a different exactly. system. Exactly, they have a different structure of teaching. Jonathan. Alan, they have the same content. You know this, right? Con they usually topics are no, still topics. Per year Jonathan, you're thinking of entire topics. You're not thinking of it as a per year basis. Same. Our schools work on a per no it isn't. In Finland, if you learn if you take geometry and algebra one year and you learn them, that is significantly better than taking them in two years. That is a difference in curriculum. No, it's a difference in the way they teach those things. No, it isn't. It's curriculum. It is. It's, it's what they're required to take. It's what no, they're required Alan, to you're learn. thinking just because they have an advanced curriculum, that's why they do so well in school. I think that's a little <laughs> stupid to think. No, that's actually completely stupid curriculum. to think. They have a completely, they different, have a completely, different, they have a completely different way of teaching things. That's called a curriculum. Curriculum is content. The way of teaching is not curriculum. No, curriculum is not only content. Curriculum. Yes, is it is. Curriculum is literally content. content. It's also uh, it's also order. It's also no. How curriculum they is have literally to be. content. It's also what classes they have to take together, Jonathan. That's all. Yes, the but there's a difference between taking tests on content and just learning it in different yes, ways. Yes, and tests and notes and homework is all dependent. It's not on in the Finland. Teacher. Nope, not in Finland. It's all dependent on. You, nope, you not know, in Finland. You know they Finland take tests do and notes in Finland, right? <coughs> You're telling yes. me they don't take notes in Finland? They don't have homework. They have completely different ways yes, of teaching. Yes, but they still have tests and notes. Nope. Yes, they do. They do not take tests. Not they standardized not tests. tests. They don't have standardized tests. They have tests. Yes. Uh, yes, they're they not do have standardized. standardized you know what? No, they don't. Finland has standardized <laughs> tests. No, they not don't. as like frequently as we do. Shit. No, they don't. Not as I said, not as frequently as we do, but they well, have. Well, that's probably the most important. Also, Finland the has like what? Of standardized tests is insane. <laughs> yes, but it's also, Jonathan, bro. Finland we have to has take, like at Finland least five Jonathan, standardized tests. Jonathan, also, you have to remember that in the U.S., Finland has half as many people as New York City does. Don't even think about Why the entire U.S. Matter? Why does that matter? Because they can manage doing that. They, they don't have as many... teaching in a different way. What no, does no, that Jonathan, standardized test? The more standardized something it is, is more adjusted to how many people you manage. When you have hundreds of millions of people, they, knows... they, they don't differ. <laughs> Finland has five million people total. Well, I literally hate I standardized bet you tests one, in every not even one million. I don't know who, why would you would ever support standardized tests, but I'm not saying it's a support. I'm saying it's an effect of our the population. It's not helpful. It's not helpful. Like. For a month straight, you'd have tests. It, like you come in one day a month, randomly. No, you come in what? once a day. They, that's not what they do in Finland. What are you Jonathan, talking about? In Finland, they don't have standardized tests. They right? don't. They have yeah, they teacher. don't. How do they have they tests have... per teacher? Yeah, yes. and it's not and it's so much emphasis that you literally get anxiety for it. To do, huh? Our teachers, Jonathan. Every single job an American does. They have more to do because they have more people to deal with. You know that, right? <coughs> so New what, York there's City, two people in a Finnish, Finnish classroom? In New York City alone, we have double the people. You know there's a limit to the amount of people you can have in a classroom, right? Yeah, 30. And the teachers can have up to what, like five, six classes a day? <coughs> <clears throat> so that's 180 tests well, per teacher per class. Education in America is retarded. I don't think yes. the government... But it's not mm. so easily comparable to Finland when you compare the numbers. You have to compare all the perspectives or your or your argument is not worth you anything. You can definitely implement what Finland does. You can make changes, but not all of them. You can't just say, like, you Probably know, all of them. no standardized tests because then 
What yeah. determines what, how the grades are? How can somebody... A holistic Because America, America is 10 billion times more competitive than Finland will ever be, right? So how no, can you do you know how well Finland has in education? No, competitive, Jonathan. Competitive. Competitive well, doesn't mean better. It's a better education system. Competitive means that if everybody's trying to get into the university, the test must be the who same. Who cares if, Finnish, if Finland has a better education system? What do you mean, who cares if Finland has a better education system? Would you rather have a competitive attitude or a better education system? I'd rather have an education system that's fit to 300, I'm sorry, hundreds of millions of people. Not that's fit to like, what, so 800,000 people? <laughs> Look. This one's complete garbage. How many students in Finland? This one's complete garbage. 542,000 students in Finland, right? Literally, school is useless in America. How many students in the U.S.? 14.5 million, Jonathan. 14.5 million. Okay, teachers can still change the way they teach. That has nothing to do with DOE. Teachers still have to teach the same things. No matter how hard a teacher tries, they're not going to be able to teach you geometry in an algebra class. They're not allowed to. Well, they are allowed to, but it's a waste of their time. And if they don't teach you what they're supposed to teach you, they, they, you know, they're not doing their job. If they have a job to do. You know, even things like Khan Academy have a radically different way of teaching you than a school. Khan Academy lesson. is what? different. Khan Academy doesn't have No, but I just mean the layout, of a, the layout of a lesson. So, Khan Academy is private. Online. It's not. No, yeah, no, it's also, it's the way, and mass no, no, education. it's the it's way topics personal. are actually taught. There's, it's a different structure. It's a different order, Jonathan. An order is determined by the D O E. No, I don't mean concepts. I mean, if you have a specific concept, I don't know, like, just give me a relatively hard concept in like math. Like what? I don't know. Math? Uh, I don't know. Sign graphs. That's not oh, hard. Whatever. No, I would say like a uh, unit circle. You, just, okay, that's not how you do not yeah, okay, know see, how see. stupid the way my teacher put it was. He basically told us to memorize it and just know it like that. <coughs> Khan Academy actually explains why certain things are the way they are, and not just that to memorize just it. That depends on teacher. Your teacher didn't explain to you what the unit circle is? Barely. Literally Our teacher barely. literally did like a I've lesson on it and it was super clear. Teacher. Did you do the thing with the string? What? The thing where you <laughs> made the circle with your, on your own? I know how to like literally derive a unit circle now because of Khan Academy. Your teacher didn't teach you that? <laughs> nope. Shit okay, teacher. Jonathan, again, but that's nothing to do with the DOE. That's you have a shit teacher. A lot of teachers like that. Wait, they tell you to memorize and not actually. Mine, mine literally, mine literally. So you're telling me none of your teachers told you to memorize things better than learning it? For no, you content. use the example of trigonometry, Jonathan. My teacher literally made her own hand. Well, I don't know about you, but memorizing things in this system is 50 times more important than actually understanding how things that, that's apply true. to the world. Memorizing is like the name of the game. Which is retarded. Yes. That's why I don't take notes. I, legit, I, I don't think I've taken... Like, unless the teacher stares at me and tells me to take notes, I, I like, apart from those exemptions... Our exceptions, grade is literally on the notes we take. I haven't, mm, I haven't taken a single note since the beginning of sophomore year. And I've done... You realize five. that we have grades on our notes, right? Uh, our teacher... Our, our teacher is doing, quote, notebook... No, 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 no. Those are different. Those are men. Those aren't, like, Yes, so how are you not taking notes? <laughs> Jonathan, notes, like, like, the teacher's like, oh, it's an option, but you should probably do it. When McManaman's no, saying Mc, take notes, Mc, Mc, Lee Mc, no, is Jonathan, graded. Notebook. I told you, I told you, the difference between take notes if the teacher's making you do it for a grade or something, and the difference between doing it for yourself are different. I don't do them for myself. I do I'm them for the tired. grade. Yes, Jesus, this is devolved into school. Them. Everything, everything leads to school being useless. So Every why don't conversation. You find what you're interested. So Jonathan, if school's useless, just get by. Find out what you're interested in. You can look you can it up get online. By. You can't just get by. You have to go through it. Yeah, but if it's useless, and then don't put it too much. And through it is like time. torturous. What do you know? It's really not. What What, what do you yes, wish? What's your is, passion? What would you rather be doing? What would you rather be doing? Studying something in college. Like what? Well, that's more school. Know, so like instead of going science. to school, you'd rather go to school. Are like you computer. Stupid? Not even that. Just choose what I want to study. So not... why didn't you do that? <laughs> what do you mean? You had literally had the choice. I don't want to do English class. Oh, yeah, that's but you one. chose. 
So you made a poor decision, but that's not the school. No, I never want to do English. I don't want to do an English class. It's not my choice. It's why mandatory. Did you, why did, why did you reason. select it? You selected the major. Oh, you retarded, Alan. You need no. to do an English you class. Need to do an English class. Yeah. No, no, no. So why, if you didn't want to do, why did you select the major with it? No, are you, are you high? Select the major with it, guy. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying Bruh, AP English. Are you dumb? I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> no, it's it's, Wait, it's like twelve fifty. No, you're not. It is. Tw it is madly. Apparently, you need art credits and shit. <laughs> Honestly, that, I can learn anything I want on art credits all... for the time. Yeah, that was yeah. John, that's... was completely useless for me. I don't know about you, but okay, it was useless for you. But that's because it doesn't apply to what you wanted it to do. What, what would you want to do? Yeah, that's why it's useless. If you had a choice of what you wanted to do, what would you pick? It's not useless. I know hundreds of people who are in, like, industrial... Not okay, hundreds, do you I use DDP? Are, I don't, because I have no interest so in it. So it's there useless are people for you. Do, yes, that's why I just got past it. I just did it for the grade, and I'm gone. Yeah, you know why that's messed up? What? Do you not realize why that's messed up? No, because you're not that, doing it for yourself. You're no, just doing it for something because else. the school gave me the opportunity to figure out that I do not like. You should be able to choose it yourself. <laughs> the school is using the fact that it can make mandatory classes to give kids the opportunity to discover something they may have not known. So you didn't know you didn't like the kid before you did you know, it. See, no, I'd it like seems like a very. Yeah, you did. <sighs> okay. okay.